How's it going, everybody? It is time for more Yakuza 0 tonight. And it's also time for us to start Majima's story, because that's where we left off last week. So let's just continue where we left off. And go right there. And let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> okay, uh, what were we doing last time? Well, aside from, like, the introductory to Majima, I think we had to go talk to someone here in the cabaret, so I guess we just head out here. Camera, please. A very fancy place in here. Hi, Moon. Ah, there it is. Hey, got a minute? <clears throat> hmm? Ah, sir! S sorry about that. What can I do for you? Can you call Kane for me? I need to talk to her. Yes, sir. Of course. What's his deal? Spacing out on the clock? Hi, sir. Nice work out there tonight. Thanks, Connie. So, you wanted to talk to me? You said she was locking horns with... Sarako. Hmm. Where do I start? Well, Majima is a man of charm, so we gotta butter her up a little bit. Yeah, you're really smoking tonight, babe. I thought some new idol singer wandered in. Oh, you? That kind of flattery won't get anybody but paying customers anywhere, sir. That right? Then I take it back. What? That was just flattery! Oh, you wound me, boss. Aw, oh, come on. You know I can't tell a lie. Here, I'll buy you dinner sometime soon. You forgive me? Really? I love you, sir. This is idiotic. Time to get to the point. It's been about a month since you came here, yeah? How's it going? Think you can make a real go of, uh, of it at the Grand? Oh, I think so. The hall's much bigger than the last club I worked at, so... It was pretty much uh, pretty daunting at first, but I'm totally used to it now. And more and more customers seem uh, are coming here specifically to see me. Yeah, that's great to hear. Not surprising for, from the number one gal in from one of the oldest cabarets in Kita er, in the Kita area. Guess I was imagining things then. Hmm? What do you mean? Now see. The one mar month marks actually when I see that most girls up and leave. I was a little worried you might be getting the itch to. Oh, I have no fear of that. I wouldn't dream of quitting now. That hag Sarako has been trying to play the seniority card on me, but I didn't even notice her. Damn girl, hag. This is pretty serious. Uh, don't be like that. Sarako's a vet here. She looks after the other girls, too. Must love that about her. Try to get along, yeah? Ah, uh, I hate nosy types like that. She's got a whole entourage. But whatever, soon I'll have my own clique and I won't have to deal with them. Does she even realize she's getting lectured here? Dances adore this one. She's even getting, uh, giving me a little toot. Gotta keep it roundabout. Don't want to blow up in front of all the guests. If I piss her off now and she quits, that only means more work for me. Dig in, Goro. Patience. Yeah, but anywhere you go, you're going to run into politics and her, uh, hierarchies. Gotta learn to compromise a little, no? Uh, I was wondering where this little talk was going. If you're going to parrot the floor manager at me, don't bother. He's given me that speech a million times. 
Excuse me? If you got a complaint, how about you come out with it? I hate it when people walk into eggshells around me. Ugh, this conversation already wasted so much time. She gets more charming by the minute. Look, I ain't asking you to be friends with Sarako. In fact, you two make much better rivals. Rivals? Yeah, but not the kind that shanks the other in the back. Compete. Push each other to get better. You bring up all the other girls with you. Right now, you're just tripping over each other. And that makes it harder for everybody around here to step up. Customers may love a little, uh, love a gal like that, but I got no use for him here. The Grand needs girls who are popular with guys and the girls. The guys and the girls? Thing is, I know you could be that girl, Kane. That's the only reason I'm coming down on you like this. You really think? I'm sorry, sir. I was acting like a spoiled brat. Or work on being that girl. One being more considerate. Please, give me a chance. There, see? You do get it. I knew you were a keeper, kid. And I hope to keep me... Uh, I hope you keep helping me improve on what I need. Oh, when I need it. You know what I mean. Ugh, finally took long enough. And wait. What was that waiter's deal? Can't have him zoning out like that. Better give him a chat. Staring at the column again, huh? I'm gonna have to dock your pay for that. Man. Why the long face? Need to use the facilities? Uh, sir! No, I... I got a letter from my little sister back home. Yeah? And what's the word? That my father's sick, unfortunately. The doc says he needs to be hospitalized. But the procedure they wanna do runs 500,000 yen. But I ain't got that kind of cash. Sorry to hear it. You try asking the floor manager for an advance? Another emergency while back already uh, a while back already forced me to ask for one. I'm afraid if I ask again, I'll get canned, especially for so much. You inhabit a breaking mirrors, kid. Here, I'll spot you. What? But sir, I can't. Don't sweat it. We can always replace money. Same can't be said about people. Once they're gone, that's it. Sir. As I recall, you ain't been back home in a while, yeah? Take a few days off, too. Go visit your pops. Thank you, sir. Only thing that matters right now is keeping the peace. Running sm uh, keeping this place running smooth. I'll throw as much money at it, at it as I need to. Looks like that's it for my staff troubles. It's about time I checked in on the hall. Um, sir, there's a problem. Shit, what now? One of the customers is pa placing insane orders now that he knows he isn't paying for it. He went down the line of our top vintage wines to start, then started on the best whiskeys and brandies. He's already wrapped up about a four million worth. Start at the priciest and work your way down the list, huh? A real class act, uh, the real class acts come out at, at in times like these. Indeed, I figured we'd stop him, so... Where's he at? Show me. Right this way. まだ頼んだのかねえのかよ。お楽しみのところ失礼いたします。なんだ、やっと持ってきた。おお。あんたは眼帯の支配人さんじゃねえか。酒は人の金で飲むに限るよな、まったく。お客様、ちょっとお話があるのですが、ご足労願えませんでしょうか。なんだよ、人が気持ちよく飲んでんのに。<笑><笑> 
お時間は取らせませんどうかしょうがねえな他ならぬ支配人さんのお願いださてちょっくら行ってくるよあの支配人この方は俺が相手するお前は仕事に戻れはいわかりましたさあ参りましょうはいよしてるじゃねえかついこの前まで観光鳥が泣いてたってのにな変われば変わるもんだ。まあただで飲めるとは思ってなかったけどな来るならちょっとは行儀をしてくれんか客が減るっちゅうおおそいつはすまなかったなついはしゃいじまったよさっきもご活躍だったらしいじゃないさすがは真島五郎蒼天堀の夜の帝王だキャフトの喧嘩を見せ物に仕立ててついでに飲み代まで取り上げちまうなんてよなかなか気が利いてるなやっぱりお前敵が向いてるって自分でそうは思わねえのアホ抜かせ誰がこんなこと好きでやるかっちゅうそりゃお前今の立場のありがたみってのが分かってねえよ金も地位も名誉もあるところや女だって随分寄ってくるだろそんなことは望んでないってか皮肉なもんだそんな誰もが羨む立場を得たお前だけがただ一人この町で別の何かを求めてる<笑>幸せってやつはいちいち意地悪にできてるらしい今日は随分おしゃべりやないかしけた面のお前を見てたらなんとなくなでもまあこの現状お前が気に入らないのは当然だこれはお前への罰なんだからな楽しまれちゃ俺もシマノの兄弟もちっと困るそろそろ本題に入ってくれまへんか俺はいつになったら極道に戻れるんやオーナー何度目だろうなそのセリフどうしてそんなに極道に戻りたいのかね俺にはわからないよあんたに分かってもらう必要はないこの月の売り上げこの調子なら来月にはノルマの1億達成するでおおそりゃすごいとぼげんな達成したら島野の親父に俺が極道に戻れるよう口利きする約束忘れてへんやろなさあそんな約束したっけかなこの件で冗談は通じひんぞダメだあと5億稼げそうしたら口聞いてやるよでおのれ1 inch punch 1 inch punch 
殴らねえのかまあやれるわけないけどなそんなことしたらお前はあの暗い場所に客戻りだそれは嫌だろうからなこれがお前の戻りたがってる世界のやり方だよヤクザがお前みたいな金づる簡単に手放すわけがないだろうどうだやっぱり仇の方がいいんじゃないか上等や5億やろうが何やろうがなんぼでも稼いだろう極道に戻るためやったら俺は何でもやったるわほう何でもああそうやそれが殺しでも<笑>どうした極道に戻れるとしたらお前は人殺せるのフ<笑>冗談だよいや意地悪言ってすまなかったな極道ならいずれそういう山を踏むこともあるお前にそれが分かってるのかちょっと聞いてみたかっただけだから引き続きよろしく頼むよ支配人あそうだ一つ忘れてたここのホステスにノリコっているだろうそれがどないしたそいつ明日から別の店でやらせることにしたから即戦力が欲しくてさノリコここのナンバーワンなんだろおあつらい向きかと思ってよ本人にはもう伝えてあるからこっちの方がよろしくな売り上げ落ちないように頑張るよなんせあと5億稼がなきゃなんねえんだからなします。あの支配人、今のりこちゃんから明日から予想に移るって電話が。ああ、俺もさっき知ったわ。ご存知でしたか。なんだってこんな急に。のりこちゃんがいなくなったら、売り上げに相当響きますよ。わかっとる。せやけどオーナー様のご決定。どうしようもあらへん。そうだったんですか。でもこれからどうすれば。落ち込んどる暇もあらへんな最近よそで行けとるホステス言うたら誰やよそうですかよその子でしたらそうですねオデッセイの,のぞみちゃんがダントツでしょうねオデッセイ自体がうちのライバルみたいなものですしそうかじゃあ一丁行ってくるかのあの支配人どちらへ決まっとるやろ望みをうちに引き抜くえライバル店のナンバーワンを引き抜くってさすがにまずくないですかそもそもそんなことはどうやって夜の世界は弱肉強食ここでこけたらうちはあっちゅう間に崩れるやるなしゃあない店の方は任せたぜわかりましたどうかお気をつけてあ、oh, finally hey dragon I didn't want to talk during the cutscene that's why I had to wait a bit all right I guess we're gonna hit the town tonight I'm actually kind of curious, how much money do we have on us right now? 
I figured uh, Majima would start with like a couple, maybe like a couple thousand odd on him. Mostly because I I want I want to sing tonight, and I want to dance. Odyssey's in Shokufu, uh, Shofukuchu, uh, Shofukucho. There it is. Time to pay them a little visit. Go to Odyssey. That's fine. So vacation simulator is a pretty. Fun yeah, I've heard that's actually pretty fun. It's basically like uh, Overcooked, except it's with uh, moving out and such. Ooh, I got another place to. Let's see. What do we got? Drinks and play some pool. Freight skewers. There. Oh. There's the drug swords right next to our like our main building, which is very convenient. Got the arcade. Let's see, and then we just got other places here. I think there's just outside stalls. There's a casino right there. Guys who did job scene is pretty much a sequel. Oh, wait, no, I think I might uh, be confusing it with another one, uh, another game like that, Dragon. Sorry about that. Let's see, discount store. I wonder if there is actually uh, a temple out here. Nope. Oh, there it is. Uh, always had to play Shoji. Okay. Well, let's head out. <laughs> You're the master of that ale house. The Grand, yes? Hi. Yes, that's me. I knew it. Even the way you walk is refined. Guarded, you have no blind spots despite appearances. Uh, have you seen my face? I think I got a pretty decent blind spot right there. I'm sorry, sir. Have we met? Uh, my name is, uh, Sumitaro, uh, Kamiki. Heir to a certain form of martial arts and its present master. Martial arts? Yes, but lately I felt my technique slipping. My age has been dulled, so I left the lights of Tokyo in order to train. Yet, even here, I find this age of excess, gluttons, fools gorged on carnal pleasures. Nobody hungers anymore. Then I heard talk of a lounge called the Grand. They said that it was the home of the most interesting man. Part of my asking, but have you visited our establishment? What kind of question is that? Guzzling booze with... Uh, painted ladies hanging all over you? Bah! Wanton excess. Of course I haven't been. Well then, why the hell... What the hell am I doing this song and dance if you aren't a customer? Besides, what's a washed-up martial artist want with me? That hungry air about you is far beyond the man I fought in recent years. Would you do me the honor? Which honor? What, you want me to fight you? Precisely. A deeper strength sleeps within you. I refuse to let it lie dormant and unused any longer. You okay upstairs, pal? Fight you doesn't earn me a skinny yen's profit. I'm a busy guy. I behind your merchants, guys, all you like. I know money isn't what feeds that hunger. Whatever honest like you make a show of living, I can see the demon nod at you inside. There's only one way to appease that demon, son. Face the strong in combat and set loose those fighting instincts, struggling to burst free. And you're telling me that uh, you're that strong guy. <laughs> ho ho! As it happens, I am. Now, do you see a reason to face me? Not that it would stay in my hand either way. There's no talking sense to you, is there? Fine, you win. I was just thinking it'd be a while since I really cut loose. Not here, though. Hmm, if you insist.
This place should work. Hmm. You're awfully unhesitant in agreeing to this. I'm certain to think you keep the true extent of your strength hidden away. You must have your reasons. I know I have mine. But the fist is like a sword. Leave it in the sheath for t to rust, and you will not be able to draw it when it's needed. What say you? Ever feel an urge to shrug off your restraints and fight to the full uh, extent of your abilities for a change? If you're offering, I'm game. Not too big on the idea of opening up a can of, on a creaky, uh, creaky old guy like you, though. Oh, cast aside such worries. Even dulled, the edge left in me should prove sufficient to handle a pup like you. Show me everything you got. Hey, where'd these people come from? Poke him in the eyes! Thug style incorporates a number of merciless attacks. One of these is the eye poke attack. If you land an eye poke attack, the enemy will turn their back on you in pain. Show Kamiki your thug style moves. Oops. There we go. Pull off the Essence of Choking. One of the special moves of the Thug Style is a heat action called Essence of Choking. This heat action triggers when an enemy attacks you or when you are uh, or when you circle around behind them. Show Kamiki your Thug Style special move. Uh, Majima, what are you- Oh, oh god! You snapped my neck, but for some reason my knee hurts! Come on, come on, hit me. Behind you. Ah, oh, it's so visceral. I think we might have accidentally killed him, though. Nope, he's fine. Hmm, glad to know I still have an eye for talent. You will surpass me one day. I can promise you that. Hey, Gramps. Just what kind of life have you been living? One of them, armed combat. Wagering my life on my own bare fists for the, the last few decades. Not that my opponents have always been so generous. I have faced swords, firearms. And do you think I'm going to get stronger? Gorgeous. Much. Even now, I can see there's been a change in you. There was an awful creak in my neck. You saved me a chiropractor bill. I spar with you and re, uh, regain your strength I once had. You spar with me and gain strength you've never known. A mutual benefit for both of us, is it not? Uh. Yeah, I guess. I'll be rocking, walking around the city for a while. You shall see me again when the time comes. Alright, I'll be waiting. Now, if there are no more we weird old guys to interrupt me, I gotta go pluck Nozomi from the Odyssey roster. I should take a lap around town and see what kind of info I can dig up on the Club Odyssey from the people living in it. You got the easy starter. Select where you cast the line, moving the cursor, and then cast. When the fish bites, alright. Pretty easy. Find out about using bait in different kinds of fishing poles, see the fishing info. Sure, we'll fish a little bit.
Come on. At least one of you bite. Gotcha. Damn it. All right, let's go for this obvious eel in the river. Nope, nope, not getting the eel, but I'm getting that. Does everything need fishing now? Possibly. All right, let's try this again. Maybe it's like it's when the red is uh, getting red into the water. Come on. At least one of you try to bite. All right, let's try right here. Um, very cold. That's how it is, dragon. Incredibly cold, in fact. Oh, got him. Up, oh, up, oh, beat. Why? Ah, I think we lost him. Nope, we got him. Not bad. All right, I want to see what the hell that thing is. B X A. Got him. It's a small bag. We got five thousand yen. Not bad. All right, that's enough fishing. All right. Uh, what all can we do? Fried skewers, ramen shop. What do we have in terms of... We got the fish. Use black leather gloves. Unlock your energy reserves when you are close to death. Sure. Oh, right. I probably should uh, upgrade some of my abilities. Oh, 400. Oh, I need a lot more money then. Pull out a dagger or knife concealed on an enemy and attack them with it? Yee. Ah, that's Matsu. One of the... One of our... Our... our Barkers. He has his inside intel in other clubs. My man Matsu! Business been good? A new week is a new wallet, Majima. You? Doing fine, thanks to you. As long as you keep the customers coming, I can't complain. Ah, uh, send that hum humility shit and rotate. We both know the Grant's only shooting up because of you. What's it been, two years? The Grant's blasted off like a damn rocket ship since the day you turned up in, in Shoten. Well, I've seen some salesmen in my time, but I ain't never seen one like you. What'd you do before this, Majima? Heh. <laughs> no rearview mirrors on rocket ships, Matsu. Let me ask you a question instead. Yeah? What do you got? Need a scoop on Odyssey. How are they doing lately? Odyssey? Well... Not good? Nah, they're doing just fine. Don't get me wrong. Only guys in town that, that can keep a place... 
uh, keep pace with you and the Grand is just... Just what? Less art, more matter? Or some shit? Or a host by dragon? Thank you so much for that. Well, to tell you straight, it seems like they hit the ceiling. Been a while since they got any new blood. The regulars keeping them afloat, of course, but that's a red flag. The floor manager's about to get canned. Between you and me, uh, Yamagata, the manager, is looking to shake things up. I hear there's all sort of changes going on over there. Wow, pink slip in the floor manager before profits even start to dip? That's pretty bold. But I get the picture. Thanks for the tip, friend. So Odyssey's manager is starting to panic. Music to my ears. Right, so we get a lot of money, we buy out the entire place, and add it as an extension to our place. It's brilliant! Alright. What do we got? That's a restaurant. You know we got a place in pool. Would you like to play darts? It's 200 yen per game. Oh no. We offer three types of dart games in our bar. Which one would you like to hear about? One cricket or count up. In this game, the value of the sections you hit is deducted from your score. The, go the goal is to reach zero. You can start a score from 301, 501, etc. Both bullseyes and double bullseye hit are worth 50 points. Going below zero is called busting. It becomes your opponent's turn if you bust. Your score goes back to what it was before the bust. The first player to reach exactly zero before the end of the designated number of rounds wins. Okay. Got a chili cheese. Nope. Need a minute. That's too disgusting. Only the numbers from 15 to 20 and the bullseyes are used in this game. Hitting numbers and the single ring counts as one hit, double rings is two hits. The triple ring is three hits. Once you get three hits on a number, it becomes open for you. Hits on an, uh, on an open number are worth the same as its value. Those points are added to your score. However, your opponent can close your open numbers by also hitting it three times. Hitting a closed number does not score any points. The player with the highest score at the end of the designated number of rounds wins. You can also win if you close all the numbers bef before the end of the assigned number of rounds. Your score gets higher than your opponent's. Chili cheese is normal. Oh no. For example, if you're running more by 200 points and you aim for a brand new number 15, your first and second throws hit a single 15. If your third hits double 15, it only counts as a single. The total hit would be counted by, would be three. It was chili and cheese, mustard and onions and topped. Uh, uh, nope, nope, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm averting my eyes and learning the rules of darts. All right, let's count up. In this game mode, you, your value, the value of the sections you hit is added to your score. The player with the highest number at the end of the designated number of rounds wins. Both bullseyes are du and double buys, uh, but uh, 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 double bullseyes are worth 50 points. So that's just basically the standard uh, theme for darts. All right, we'll play some darts. Uh, let's go with... we'll go with Intermediate. Go with Count Up. And just use the normal darts. Alright, show rules back, toggle display, throw power, select the darts, and aim. Now, do I, like, pull back and flick it, or do I have to aim it, and then I just press R. That's the question.
Oh, oh. Right about here. Ooh, close. Too high. All right, I really need to hit that center. Or at least get the red around the center. Like that. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Little lower. So right about there. Mmm. We're almost there. This has to do it. Ah! Alright. Need to keep playing bold if I want to keep that high score. Let's see. We'll do it right here. Too high. Way too low. Way too off. Alright, it all comes down to this. What's she going to get? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank God. Phew, we actually won that. By the way, is this your first time in our bar? Yeah, thought I'd try something new for a change. Hmm, I see. Let me give you these. They're slightly better than the run-of-the-mill house starts. And I can keep them? But of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Alright. Bartender, I require refreshments. Not, not the draft, uh... Lots of choices. Let's go for the fanciest one. We'll go for this one. A remarkable specimen from France. Corvazier XO won the top prize in worldwide cog uh, cognic taste. The parent of the finest grapes with uh, bordery spirits produced the f uh, full but smooth palate. You haven't had coordinate until you've tried this one. Now, now, I need pool. Hmm. I see you got a steady hand. But I'm willing to bet a hundred thousand that you can't be me at count up. Well, unfortunate. Uh, wish I had enough. Ca yeah, I can't uh, play this until I get the cash for it. Hello, if you'd like to play pool, it's eight hundred per game. Eight hundred, jeez. All right. By the way, do you know about puzzle pool? What's that? It's pool for one player only, so you can take your time and have fun with it, even if you're not exper an experienced pool player. You start each stage with a certain set up, and your goal is to sink the object ball into a specific pocket with just one shot. Interesting. You should try it at least once. Please enjoy your time here. We'll play some puzzle, and then we'll do a standard play. Wait, what? Alright, I guess I'll play standard. 
I guess puzzles are a lot more expensive then? Let's see, we'll go 8 ball. Alright, info display, uh, view controls, prime Q, move camera, switch camera, show rules, shooting mode. How to play pool. In this game, players strike the white cue balls with the cue stick so that it hits the other balls, the object balls, knock them into pockets. Before the game starts, you must determine who goes first. Each player starts a cue ball, and the one who cue ball ends nearest to them will get the first turn. However, it will only count if the ball hits the opposite cushion. Do it back, and then... The further back you pull it, the stronger the shot will be. Too much power. Way too much power. Oh, you can even determine where you hit it on the ball to give it a bit of a spin. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, the way he took him. Alright, what do we got? I'll sink this. Or not. Not quite. All right, you know what? Full ham. Damn it. That was the wrong ball to put in the hole. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna have the perfect look... Uh, or not. He's going for that one? Okay. Oh, you dick! Alright, what have we got? What's the, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. We could try this. No. 
see. Let's try that. Nice! Damn it! Not yet. <laughs> oh, he's got this. Have much of a choice. I could try. All right, let's try this. That's not what I wanted to happen. He's got this. He just needs that three wall in and then sinks the eight. Okay, thank God. Yes, nice. All right, oh, nope, nope, don't want that. Uh, let's see. All right, let's try this. We'll hit both of them and see if I can at least sink uh, the left one. Nice! Not exactly what I was going for, but I accept it. And then give it a little bit of a spin. We almost had him. It was a good comeback, but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> what is that you lose sound effect? Uh-uh, we're playing again. I am winning a pool game. Damn it. I tried to give it less power, but it just wouldn't register for some reason. You just uh, record the desktop audio for COCOMs? Yes. The stream picks it up and then that uh, just goes into the video. Alright, I need flats, not stripes. Alright, what do we got to work with? Alright, that's the eight ball over there. Let's see if we do this, I might be able to sink that one. Damn it. 
Not how I thought that would play out. Not yet. <laughs> oh, please. Please do it. Okay, not what I wanted you to do, but at least you didn't get anything. Let's see if we can... Uh, damn it, that ball is blocking that one. I could have easily banked it. Let's see if we do this. No. Is there a way I could possibly get that one? Nope. Bank anything over there. All right, let's try this. At least it'll keep it uh, away from his balls. Yes. No. No. Uh. <laughs> I got <one. laughs> Is he appro approaching me? I don't know. Also, I actually used to have a pool table at some point. It was like a pool table that doubled as an air hockey table. They had uh, foos, uh, foosball, the, the little like soccer one where they you would uh, flick the little dudes. I forget what that name was called. I don't remember what happened to it. I think we gave it away to a family friend because no one just got any use out of it here. And when I had it at the time, I was too young to understand, like, the, the fundamentals of pool, so I had zero use for it. Nice. Not nice! Damn it! I got one. No, at least he fouled it. Alright, what do I got to work with? I could put it right there and sink that one. If I put that there and I screw this up, he's basically got a free shot to sink that eight ball. Actually, if I do that, then I'll also sink the eight ball, I believe. So I think what I'll do is I'll go for the yellow one right here. Yes, yes, yeah. ah, almost. <laughs> All right, just gonna try and sink it there. And thankfully, he has no good angle on that. there. Oh, come on. Mm. I have narrowly missed them so many times. It's just... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. We've lost. There's no way unless he screws this up. I can't believe he somehow screwed this up. What 
That 8-ball is in such a bad spot for him right now. It's actually giving me a fighting chance. Right about there. Oh, come on! Thank you. See? I planned it out just like that. Wow, okay, okay. At least he's ha- he, Yeah, he's not even gonna hit that. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Ugh, this is bad. Okay, what- what do I have to work with? There's the one over here we could try to sink, although that's in a really bad spot. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for the six. Uh, let's. Okay, let's see what we got. What's a good angle I can get on this thing? If I do that, might be enough to knock it into the hole. Do this. All right, let's try it. I bank. I. Oh! 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 Ah! Uh, uh, uh. uh. mm. He's got this. If he screws this up, I'm gonna laugh. Damn it. Uh, I was doing better this time. Nah, we'll quit for now. I need a strong drink after that one. Bartender, give me the strongest thing you got. Give me this 18-year-old drink. Fans of Japanese whiskey are on the rise, even overseas. And one big reason for this right here. Yamakaze whiskeys have always been prize winners, but the 18-year-old variety has earned the most accol accolades. It is an irresistibly aged flavor with a depth and taste of like dried fruit that comes from the sherry barrels in which it is aged. This, along with the fragrant ch uh, chocolate note, makes for one full-bodied whiskey. <laughs> uh, you okay, boss? Uppercuts him. <laughs> Just appears behind him, snaps his neck. I didn't even like pool anyways. Alright, what else do we have to do here? Well, let's go check out the arcade. We have to actually run down the street and see if there's any more people we can get info on the other club about. <gasps> oh no. If I don't move, he won't see me. Do, 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 do. Oh no, he's found me. Run! Is he still coming? Oh, he's still coming. Uh, 
All right, so what do we got? We still got, uh, we got that. Drink machines. Oh, change the prizes in the, the claw machine. You know what? I'll insert I'll insert something. I want to get that axolotl. That should do it. I swear, if this misses, uh, mm. rigged. This thing is rigged. Okay, fine. Give me the axolotl with a tiny hat on. And the mustache, it looks like. Give me that very dapper axolotl. I want it. You are making a powerful enemy tonight, Crane Game. Yes, yeah. Uh, mm. Thought we could get it by the tip of the cane. I think I was a little too off center for that one. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh. Yes, got him. Whoopa. Oh, cool, I caught a whooper. Whooper, what? I need the... Oh, just barely. Whew. Woo, mama. I got what I came for. I need to see if a Whooper Watch thing uh, appears or has been made or something. Because I actually have been... Uh, I have been meaning to do like a Pokemon alert at some point. You know what? Let's play some Outrun. Oh, man, I miss playing in arcade, or arcade machines that were like this. I always liked those super stylized ones. All right, what do we want? Do we want Magical Sound Shower, or Splash Wave, or Passing Breeze? Of course, we gotta go with Magical Sound Shower. Get ready. All right, break. Why is A the break and B accelerate?
Out of the way, I got places to be. Inhumanity. Game over. It's ab. All right. In reality, their face would be pulled back to the wind. I, I've only been like in a car that goes that fast. Well, not that fast, but it felt like that fast, like once in my life. It's a terrifying feeling. All right, what else do we have around here? Food places, taxi, lots of food places. Featuring a huge crab outside. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a giant crab mascot or something. All right, we'll put Wu Papa and Wu Mama in there. Put our fish in there as well. I don't know what we are supposed to do with the fish. Or I guess maybe we sell the fish. In that case, is there like a pawn shop around here or something? Let's see. Mahjong. No. Karaoke. And Shoji. I'm not seeing a Mahjong place. In, or Mahjong. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, pawn shop anywhere. This time, and dead. Come on, come on, take a swing. Ugh. Just it's so visceral, and when you hear the crack and just see their mouths foam, it's just ugh. Oh, great, he's here. I thought I lost you back in the other side of the bridge. Alright, I need to go down there. Which means I've got to sneak past this guy. Oh, great. Um, sorry, but are you Majima from the Grand? Huh? Yeah, why? Oh my god, I've been your fan since forever. Please, you've got to let me work there. Oh, you're looking to come to work for the cabaret? I don't have any hostess, hostess experience, but I always but I always swore if I could make it happen, it would be at the, for the Grand. And why's that? There are plenty of other famous spots in town. Like Odyssey, for one. Sure, but we should hear girls talk. The Grand is, like, kind of a big deal. If you're working in... 
Shotobori, that's the only place that'll give you the street cred. Oh yeah? What's so different about us? Well, Odyssey is super strict about their hiring, and I hear their floor show pra uh, practices is like a boot camp. Messed up. Uh, mess up and you get yelled at in front of the other girls. Sounds like a recipe for a nervous breakdown. Girls are the club's most important assets. Gotta take care of the goods, you know. So, it's not so bad if you got exp experience to do your job perfectly, but the girls just starting now, they stay a, uh, they say a fun club's better. Lots of girls have left it. You don't say. Seems harsh to expect pro skills from a college student getting a fresh start. Girls can uh, quit anytime they like. The whole trick is making them want to stay. Wow, you're just like the story say, Majima. You always listen to what a girl has to say, and you must really care. Now we really want to work for the Grand. Well, if you're serious, come on by with a resume. I'll be there waiting. Sounds like Odyssey is not the friendliest work... Not the friendliest work environment. We're doing fine now, but in a few years, that was a hot tip. Hey, Sonny! If you have a spare moment, why don't you play a noble game of strategy with me? Huh? And who are you? <laughs> I'm just an old man who likes nothing more than shogi. Whenever I have the time, I come to sit here, waiting for someone to join for a game. Ah, a street shogi player. Well, are you interested in shogi? I'll give you some slack if you're not ex as experienced player. Hmm. Maybe I could go for a game of shogi. Sure, we'll play one game. Alright, one game. Gladly! So, how much confidence do you have in your shogi skills? Absolutely zero. Now, I'm just a beginner, so go easy on me. <laughs> I'll try to play like a beginner too. Place explanations, cancel, take back, okay. Super take back. Move hand, move hand, give up, okay. Take back, time limit, don't use. Toss pieces to determine who goes first. Hooray, I go first. Uh, sure, here. So I'm guessing Shogi's basically like uh, Japanese chess, or checkers, I should say. No, it's more chess. Now, see if that moves there, then I got it. But instead, I'll take this. Oh, there's the rules thing. I didn't even notice it. Okay, so we got the paint, pawn, cane, uh, gold general, silver general, knight, lance, bishop, and rook. Promoted lance, promoted uh, silver. The first uh, three rank rows on the opponent's side of the board is the promotion zone. Certain pieces can reach it uh, turned over, promoted, affecting how they move. Captures and drops. 
When one of your pieces lands on the same square as an opponent, you capture it. Uh, on your next turn, you may opt to drop the piece you captured on any empty square. When you drop the piece, you cannot move it until the next turn. Also, any promoted piece captured or flipped back to their original state. You cannot drop a pawn on the same tile as one of your pawns. You cannot drop a pawn where it checkmates the king. You cannot repeat the same board pos position four times. Mine now. Let's see if I do that. No. Uh oh. Ah, damn it. Nope, I lost. I had no idea what I was doing there. I was just completely waning it. <sighs> Looks like I won this time. Come back anytime you want to play. I don't know if I'll do that. I got wool! Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Hang on a second. Excuse me. There we go. Oh wait, is that? Yes! Yes! It is time! Ladies and gentlemen, let us sing. Alright, so what have we got for Majima's choices? Alright, well there's the one that everybody knows. Sunshine, Heartbreak Mermaid, and Rogue of Love. We already sung this one, so I guess we'll just sing one song tonight.
And that's what goes on in my head 24-7, ladies and gentlemen. 78. Damn it, I still only hear the Final Fantasy Victory theme. Karaoke Bozo. All right, well, I'm fulfilled. All right, let's make a, a pass down here, see what, what else we can find on the club, and then we'll head to the to the club itself. Not great. What kind of pants are you wearing, guys? You deserve to get beaten up just for what you're wearing. Sorry, gotta do it to you. Hang on. Hang on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Not like that. Peekaboo. <laughs> Hi, yes. Why is this game Why is this game with a serious story and then it has the most ridiculous anime there ever was? Dragon, did you forget half the stuff that happened with Kiryu? What the? Oh. I thought he was like someone of interest. What do we have around here? We've got Mahjong. Alright, we'll do like one circle around here and then we'll head to the club. Actually, we'll probably do a circle, go up to here, save, take a break, and then we'll go to the club. And by gathering intel, of course I mean we're going to go play Mahjong. At Mahjong Jambalaya, you can play at tables with varying rates of participants in ranked matches. Tables are beginner, low rate, intermediate, medium rate, and advanced and high rate. The price to play and the strength of the opponents is depending on the table. The more skilled your opponents, the more you can win or lose. Beginner, oh god. Need to pay uh, 50,000 registration fee, but it's free afterwards. Oops, I think I accidentally walked out. No, I must play Mahjong. Take part in the rank match. Rank matches attract a lot of high-level players. It costs uh, 50,000 yen to register. You pay only once, and after that you can participate in any number of ranked matches. We prepared special prizes for the reaching the higher ranks. And the prizes on ranking first, you simply wouldn't believe it. That piqued your interest? Would you like to try the top rank? Alright. I'm itching to play. Good luck. Four players compete to be the first to complete one 14-tile hand. The hand is typically composed of four groups, uh, three tile combinations, and one pair. The point value of a player's hand is determined by the tiles they have collected. For the f uh, for a list of Mahjong hands, please refer to hands. Each player takes turns drawing and discarding tiles to dis construct their hand and reach the win condition. In addition to drawing them, players can steal certain tiles in their opponent's discard. 
A game of Mahjong consists of 136 tiles, or exactly four copies of each tile, resulting in 34 unique tiles. Numbers uh, 1 to 9 of three different suits, circle, bamboo, and characters. Four wind tiles, or southwest, north, or east, southwest, north, and three dragon tiles, white, green, and red. The wind dra and dragon tiles are collectively referred to as honor tiles. Tiles 1 and 9 of each suit are referred to as terminal tiles. The three suits that are uh, fairly easy to identify. Circles, bamboo, characters. Note the peacock belongs to the bamboo shoot. Remember that Chowder episode where Chowder wanted to schmeveled eggs for Truffles' his Manjal game? Didn't it end? Uh, didn't it turn up? He uh, ended up eating Mahjong tiles in that episode. This region uh, contains the tiles you are keeping it and construct your winning hand. Tiles you want to keep will remain here. Oh, the region to the right of your hand is your meld areas. Sets made from stolen discards are placed here. These tiles are locked, and you cannot take them apart or change your hand. Remember, your melds can be seen by everyone. A note on stealing tiles. A hand that it has no exposed melds is called a concealed hand. It is greatly considered smarter play to keep your hand concealed for as long as you can, so melding isn't always the right move. In the center area, there are tiles that represent the Dora. Only one is revealed at the start, but more can be flipped to create bonus points. Duh, oh, God. Pair, con, four of a kind of the same tile. Pawn, three of a kind. G, three constructive number tiles of the same suit. What are some of the hands? No point hands, pinfu, uh, concealed hand composed entirely of straights and various all simples, identical sequences. All right, we'll start a rank match. Cancel, show, hide, action, commands. Okay. Um, I guess I'll get rid of that. want to get rid of anything I have. I guess the dragon. Alright, that works. I guess we'll get rid of you. <laughs> yes, I'm small brain. What did I do? Uh... I, I'm small brain too. I can't figure out what, what I'm doing. I'm just winning it. That usually works for me. Alright, we got... Oops. I guess I don't really have much of a choice that... Pawn. My hand's getting a lot smaller, and I don't like it. You're not giving me a lot to work with your game. Keep these three. Let's go with let's go with this. Four, 
Fine, we'll get rid of nine. So we got a pawn finally. Chi. Uh, we'll go with E. Wow, after all that, it was a draw. Akira actually won that one, though. Alright, let's see what we got. Got that, so I'll raise you uh, this. There's two pairs right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got E, S, N, 3. I really want to keep these two because they're already a, a pair right here. Uh, let's get rid of you. Ooh, two pairs. Nice. All right. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of N. I don't need that. Oh wait, no, I did. Oh, I didn't see it until it was too late. Get rid of three, I guess. Oh, and there was a nine there as well. Pawn. Seven. I'll get rid of one. Come on, you gotta give me something to work with your game. But I already. Oh, I, I deposited in it, and. Alright, uh, I guess put this in. Damn it, of course I got a three when I didn't need it. Or when I needed the, the other pair. I already discarded that, so might as well. Nice! Got two E's. Let's see. Nine's there, three's there, so I might as well get rid of the three. You're not giving me a lot to work with your game. G. S, you gotta go. Not getting anything with that, so I'll put that there. Nice, two ends. Two ends, two E's. We almost we got three pairs on us right now. Let's get rid of eight. Sure, we'll get rid of four as well. Pawn. And that. And the two. I'm keeping these pairs. Hey, we won something. All right, we got two Ds. I think that's supposed to be the white dragon. Oh, we got two pairs already. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of one. Pawn. Let's get rid of this. See. Ah, one's already up there. Damn it, I could have used another pair. Nice, two eights. Okay, let's get rid of this two bamboo. And let's get rid of the five. Ooh, we got 3D! Mmm... Six, I'm sorry, you gotta go. Hmm. 
Let's get rid of bamboo. Pawn. And we'll get rid of E. I already had a three on me. Nine, you gotta go. Six. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that as well. Nice. Got a three. All right, six, you gotta go. Ooh, two red dragons. W. And let's get rid of that five. Ooh, two red and two whites. Well, in that case, I'm not I'm not sacrificing my dragons, so put that there. God oh, damn it. Alright, fine, put that there. Pawn. Uh-oh. Uh, fine. Green dragon. Mm. Give me something to work with here, game. I need another red or a three. Nice. One again. Alright, already starting off with two pairs, not bad. Let's go with the uh, two. Mm. Let's get rid of seven. Ah, of course I got a two, fine, put that there. Nice. Not the pair. Put nine there. G. And we'll sacrifice that too. G. I don't know what that combo is supposed to be, uh, but I've got something from it, so I'm happy about it. In that case, let's put that there. G. Five, you gotta go. Eight, you gotta go. Oh, you're not making this easy for me. Fine, we'll sacrifice a four. That has to go. Khan. I'm down to just two Mahjong pieces. Two, two sixes, two sixes there, three, six, seven, all right, that'll go. E and two Ds, let's put N up there. Nice, two sixes. Put two up there. S, three's got to go. 
Put S. Sacrifice. Let's put that up there. Two W's. I could really use a pawn right about now. Not making this easy on me. Alright, uh... E. Con. Pawn. Alright, sacrifice our white dragon. Three sixes. Green's gotta go now. Sumo! Aha! Of course! I figured it out! Got it! Oh, we actually won the 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 round. Wait, no. Yeah, we actually did win that round. All right. I'm going to not I'm not going to lie to you people. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I was just trying my best to get pairs. Everybody's so confused in the chat. When I when I was not gonna lie, when I was reading through the rules, basically you could hear the dial-up tone going on through my head. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's him! And there's a shrine. Hey, Bob. It's me, Bob Yusuma. Guess what I found for you. Mad Dog uh, Shimano. Got a slime gun. A steel crowbar. Hawker's belly warmer. And a stone of enduring. I am not going to waste this on something stupid this time. Alright, Bob, what else do you have? The. The Hanya tattoo. Toughness Emperor. Just a bunch of medicine. Gold plate. Crafting support pack. A uh, hundred pieces of iron. Hundred pieces of timber. Quality iron. Uh oh, good. I got a bloody cloth. Got demon face stones. A super spicy knife. An antique gun and a sacrifice stone. To change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. It only works in Premium Adventure, and if you have the Dragon Dojima pack, it's uh, you're only getting this once. Okay. Oh no! It's too bad Tamo's not here tonight, or else I would get her on call just so she could do the Bob voice. Oh, cool! I get a a parka. Uh, frozen sardines. Oh my god, they're nunchucks. Platinum plates. Oh, wait, actually. That's a temple. Oh, there's the pawn shop. Wow, we got a lot of things with Majima. Gotta get the money magnet. Better value money when giving agents extra funds. Card watcher. Throw money over a larger area. Alright. 
take that. And I guess I really don't want to waste these two stones, so I guess we'll just put the card watcher on. Slime gun. Gunfire's bolts containing a slimy liquid it has no effect on more powerful enemies. This type of crowbar is often mentioned in crime reports on the news. It has plenty of destructive potential. I'll say, look at that attack power. A blade of the knife contains bits of chili pepper that deliver a burning sensation to those it stabs. An anti-gun crafted sometime between the Edo and M Miji periods. It still functions as a firearm. These nunchaku are made from frozen sardines. They repel flames but are too fragile for su sustained use. It's actually stronger than the the knife, which is weird because it says it's super fragile, but I'll take the... No, I don't want the gun. Give me the sword. Oh, wow, that is really noticeable in terms of speed difference. Alright. Let's stop at the pawn shop and sell our plates, and then we'll save, and then we'll take a break. Oh, right, I can also buy stuff here as well. Well, first things first, let's sell our stuff. Let's sell... Let's sell this, let's sell our plates. Alright. What do we got in terms of buying stuff? Oh, yeah, uh, for the Pog thing, uh, it changes every now and then because that's what people, uh, wanted since the original had to be taken off. A million for sniper darts, ugh. Black belt, metal bat, wing katana, secret wallet, wallet's a great place to stash cash when I'm shaken down. Cha uh, chain, fine chain made of metal, plastic, all that stuff, okay. Nothing I really want right now. Uh, controversy. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'll, I'll like, uh, message you about it, but I don't want to uh, talk about it on stream. Alright. Let's see if our stuff real quick. Alright. And with that, let's take ourselves a little break, shall we? Alright, I'm going to hop off for a bit, go get something to drink and all that stuff, and when we get back, we'll start uh, going more into Majima's story. I should probably also pause so I don't accidentally get shaken down by the big guy walking around. Alright, I'll see you all then.
All right, and I'm back, and I got the door open for Kokons. So let's be get back into the wild, wacky world of Yakuza. I'm honestly surprised that I was able to do so well with Mahjom, especially how bad I was at Shogi, even though I had no idea what I was doing during that match. I'm honestly surprised I even won anything. All right, it was back this way. Wow, you really book it now. The fuck is a mahjong? <laughs> uh, well, you see, it, it's a thing that uh, people can easily confuse for deviled eggs. Uh, hold on, let me just... There we go. I have it on my Elgato now. How do I sound? Better. All right, good. A lot I spent 100 on this. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you better got your money's worth. <laughs> Odyssey, this place. I hear a guy named Mario runs it. Raid it, make magic Hello. happen, Majima. Hello, Majima. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Let's get to work. Now it's just making me think of that uh, Mario Yakuza thing that, that I put in the art thing at one point. Oh, God. I, I don't think I saw that. Let me look. <laughs> Can't just charge in and blow my cover. Aha! No one will ever notice me! Oh, yeah, no, no, I saw those. I've got a Clark Kent sunglasses. Welcome to Odyssey, party of one. Yeah. Apologies, but we're full at the moment. May I ask you to wait to be seated? Sure, no problem. Much appreciated. Please take, follow me. And take those sunglasses off. You look like a jackass inside. <laughs> also, how do sunglasses make someone not recognize you? Like I said, they're Clark Kent sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Full up, but still not turning customers away. Nice. Still, I'd probably get in quicker if I didn't put in a request for no uh, no Nozomi. There we go. Look, it's super. Oh, wait, no, it's Clark Kent. Never mind, people. <laughs> He's just doing karaoke as he waits. I just walk all the way back to the karaoke bar to the same uh, 24 hour Cinderella again. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, so I didn't pop in until like 20 minutes in, so what happened with Kiryu? Uh, let me see if I can remember what happened with Kiryu, because it's been a week since we last played this. Uh, let's see. Kiryu, I believe he's now, like, fully on board with the, the Tachibana guy, the real estate agent. Alright. And he was just uh, being put, put through the ropes to see if he was worth bringing into his group. And, then, and so why we... Oh, go ahead. Continue. No, I was going to say, and then we also, uh, you were here for the underwear stuff, right? What? The the side story with the underwear? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I, I was like, wait a minute, what? And then we, we <laughs> traveled all throughout the town to get a, a game from a little, uh, to help get a game back from a little boy who had it stolen, who had it stolen from an, by another guy, who had it stolen by another guy, who had it stolen by another guy who turned out to be the kid's father. <laughs> and the Wait, the, then why would he not just give it back? Because he didn't know that it, it was stolen from his uh, his son. It, because a, another kid from this kid's school stole it, and then a guy stole it from him, then a guy stole it from him, and then his father stole it from the guy who stole it from the other guy who stole it from the guy who stole it from his son. Yeah, that dial-up sound's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> What else did we do? Uh, I'm trying to remember. So why are we not Majima? Uh, because uh, Zero actually talks about uh, like the... Zero is basically like the prequel that uh, tells how these characters got to where they are in the first game and how they met each other. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, so, it, now so we're just it's going a back and forth thing. Majima's event. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I from what Rez said last time, it uh, every chapter will alternate between Kiryu and Majima. All right. 
So Kiryu gets a break. Yes. Got it. Who are we kidding? Kiryu ne never gets a break. <laughs> I mean, he breaks people's legs. He doesn't get a break. He does the break. Hmm. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> the hostess feels oddly old-fashioned, like her clothes are screaming, Let's relive our college years! Maybe it's a class look, but I'd say it's straight up dated. Guys their own age probably don't get anything from it, but I bet it makes the old boys uh, club feel right at home. So he's basically just going to play and saying, what the fuck are they doing? Why can I judge them? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that all the girls got the same look means that it's probably club policy, not their personal taste. Table's hopping. One guy in flashy clothes, a middle-aged playboy, and a kid in rags. Gotta be entertainment biz. The director, the talent, and the young one's a PA or some piss boy job. Three customers and only two girls. Feels off balance. Now, what the hell is going on over here? The mm -hmm. hell? What the shit is that? Dude looks like a lust machine. Is Odyssey <laughs> popular with that crowd? Is that even a crowd for whatever this is? <laughs> I don't know. I feel uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. Right, I'm okay. an adult. He, Moon, he is an adult. You found it. I don't care. No, I'm not. You found a new Halloween gift for intermission. <laughs> I don't know. The dude's just straight up vibing back there. He's having the time of his life. He's on something. He's on another plane of existence. I, w I wish I had the confidence that guy had. <laughs> mm, that table's wide open. Thought this place was book solid. Could it be they keep a queue at the entrance even when there's space to make it seem like it's in high demand? Oh, I was not fucking expecting humping underwear, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Timmy, stop zooming on. <laughs> Were you uncomfortable, Moon? Just a little. <laughs> was he not your type? <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> Figures I wouldn't race and zoom me on the first timer. Still, I could probably pump good intel out of this girl. What is this game doing to us? Every time you stream this game, something happens that makes us burst out laughing. I don't know. That's the mute. Uh, that's the beauty of Yakuza. It's super serious, but then also a big what the fuck. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the guy. Okay, what's the plan of attack here? What do I at? What do I do to ask uh, get info on Nozomi? Oh, uh, we got to butter up first, so let's ask about her. I'm still reeling. Oh, sorry. そう。100人くらいおるんとちゃうかな。今日は40人くらいやと思いますけど。ほんなら知らん子も多いんやろな。せやな。周囲に一度しか来んことかもおるし、同じ席について初めて話したっていうケースもしょっちゅうです。ほ
その望みっちゅう子はどんな子なんや望みさんですかうんほんまはお客さんに他の子のこと話したらあんまりよくないんやけどまあ一言で言うと真面目な人ですわ真面目そのお客さんの中には銀行のお偉いさんとか政治家の先生とかも多いんですわせやからうちらそないな人と話し合わせるために新聞やニュースをいつもチェックしとけって店からうるさく言われてるんですのぞみさんは特に真面目でやる気のある人やからそういうお客さんから受けがよくて指名をたくさん稼いでいたんです名実ともにトップレディッチュわけやなほんなら人気が出んのも当然やなあーせやけどこの前若いお客さんが来た時は逆に全然話題についていかれへんくてめっちゃ面白かったですわあ今の内緒にしてなうちがそないなこと言ってたのが他の子にバレたら大変なことになってしまうから<笑>安心しいや誰にも言わへんって可愛いとこがあるやないかそののぞみちゃんも。Nice. Sounds like there's a good reason why she's got a reputation of being a、uh, Kamizu hostess. She'd do just fine, even with the、uh, high rollers. Alright.、Uh, let's ask about our ho our,、uh, the girl we have now. Takako-chan, what are you doing? Uchi? Uchi was a kid in ski in h a m a t e n 週末はいつもスキー場行って滑ってますわでね新しいウェアがめっちゃ可愛いね誰か買うてくれへんかなどうせ逆に見ついてもらうつもりないやろそうなん優しいお客さんおらんもん<笑>なあな今ならうちにプレゼントするチャンスやでああせやサンタさんにでもお願いしやちゃんと靴下も用意しとかなあかんでヒントヒントお客さん行けずやわえもん自分で買うから Why am I chatting this girl up like a tool? Damn near forgot why I came in Alright, about the place 今日はまたえらいコンドンな毎日こない繁盛しとるんかまあ年末っちゅうこともありますけど最近はみんな強制で同伴させられてるからその分お客さんが He is still going at it back there! そうやったらいいけどそんなに必死になってる This is what rave music's doing I bet you anything he's listening to 24 hour Cinderella in his head right now ですわイジ最近客の入りでグランドに負けっぱなしやさか Or he's listening to Drood Sandstorm <laughs> I don't think it was around at this era, Moon, because this is like in the 80s. I don't. Let's put any song to him, it'll probably go well. <laughs> What's that? They're really desperate to beat the grand here. Problem is, they're running out of steam. I bet they kill for some fresh clients. <laughs> oh no! Someone saw through my elaborate disguise! I've been found out! Hey, listen, you be the people. Can you get that guy out of here in the back? No way, he's probably their best customer. お目当てはのぞみやね<笑>さすがはうちとためはる店の試合人や話が早くて助かるわあんたの方はずいぶんと回りくどいやないか
こそこそ忍び込んで敵情視察それがあんたのやり方かそないなことせんでも望みに会いたきゃ呼びます Interesting things we spy in the competition、mm -hmm. Hey, to be fair, you gotta keep an eye on the competition in this business. In this case, we saw too much. おれが見たところ俺が店に入った時、満席っちゅうことで入り口でチートばかり待たされた。せやけど、中に入ったら空席が目についた。俺は客全部を相手にできるほどのホステスが出勤してないっちゅうことやろ。その証拠に男3人に女2人っちゅ
なんとか引き抜き成功やいつもいつもどうやってそんなまいろいろあんねん望みのシフトとか詳しいことは明日話すわわかりましたお疲れ様です It's been a hell of a day time to get some grub and pass the hell out When I grub you mean karaoke You've read my mind we're going to karaoke people <laughs> Oh, God. It's right up the street. <laughs> Listen, singing is a sustenance of its own. Listen, mm. we need to... <gasps> dog! I want to pet the dog! Let me pet the dog! Sir, I like your dog. Can you let me... No! Please. Sir, me... may, I have, may I have your dog? No! <laughs> it made a yelp, and I feel depressed now. I know they're all oh. shields. All right, it's been a very busy day. You know what that calls for. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> What's on the menu here? Hmm. Well, here's an overused song that's used as a meme. We'll do that. Again? Oh, oh no. Oh god. It's the only one that Majima sings uh, for his list. Really? Yep. Maybe he unlocks more as the story goes on? Probably. Why is first song such like a... Well, let's just say unmanly song. Are you are you saying Majima is not a man for singing this song? <laughs> I mean, real men wear them's, pink. I mean, them's fighting words, and he will snap your neck if need be. Sure, just save me a chiropractor trip. Oh my goodness. Has anyone translated these songs? <laughs> Probably. Yes, uh, I believe in Yakuza 7, it actually has a full English dub, so you do get some of the songs in English. <laughs> this fucking bit here. <laughs> also, guess what? He's wearing pink, so I guess he is a true man in your eyes, Dragon. Nah, he's wearing more of a reflective pink that changes color. Still pink. It's still pink. It counts. But you know, we need a chromakeed cap on I'm not doing it again. We've already run Damn that it. bit into the ground. You only that's get our shtick. You only get one. What are you, Spider Man? Yes. <laughs> Now, the real question is, which Spider-Man? Yes. <laughs> all right, where do we need to go? We need to go all the way over there. Actually, no, you'd be Peter Porker because you're such a ham. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. All right, this is faster. I also probably should invest in my skills now that I have over a million yen. Travel by a taxi five times. We got another point we can spend. <laughs> Here's a point for being a lazy ass. <laughs> uh, two, two million. Jeez. Majima is expensive. Run an enemy unleash a spinning. Hell yeah. Listen, Majima only deserves the best, the finest. <laughs> wow, that that health extension was barely visible. Yeah, everything is uh, four thousand for the th the first one, and then two million, fifteen million, fifty million, and then the rest is locked. 
the best, the most exquisite. Oh, dear. But at least now we got the SSX tricky move where we just run and then just do a break dance. <laughs> ah, damn it. He's here. Nope. Just ignore him. Run away. Me, me, He's big and me slow. Me and my sister played SSX Tricky so much as kids, and I always picked Eddie because I loved his afro. Sounds pretty pissed. Is there a fight going on down there? Oh god, it's the guy from the Odyssey. <laughs> what is this suit? What kind of ass clown goes on a raid with a big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you get any daggers or guns, you know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword? This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. You making this about me? Awfully cocky for a two-bit black market front. Whole point of a business is to give your clients what they want. Sounds like an arms deal. This ain't something you want to get involved with. I only deal with clients I, I respect. If you would prove that you're worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Test? The hell you want about? You and I will spar. Defeat me, and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your all high and mighty talk. Fine, you want to fight? I'll take you. See how you like it when your precious can opener... Uh, see how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. Indeed, the guy in white kind of looks like Keanu Reeves. Oh, he... <laughs> Kind of does. <laughs> Test your proficiency with that weapon. Gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm if you... St or if I straight up end you. <gasps> what is this funky fresh theme going on right here? Okay, I need to turn the stream up a little bit then. Listen, they're grooving in this fight. Holy shit! Batter up! Hey, bada 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 bada, swing! You say that? He actually had a baseball bat when he was doing his moves. What was that guy's suit? What is this guy's suit? <laughs> what the hell are those moves with that stick? There's no martial art I've ever seen, but he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch! You fail. See me yeah. next week for training. <laughs> well, what do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? That staff you got's way better, a way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? But apparently you're, you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. Huh? To hell with your damn shop! I hope it burns with you in it! Rumor said there was a dealer to beat, so I went to the brother, uh, went to bother of tracking you down, and for what, you fraud? The fuck is the guy's head movements? Shit, I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealings. I'm out of here. Oh, hey, it's the old dude. I think ah. we're skipping steps. <laughs> ah, Majima. Curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar un uninterrupted. That's so. Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer like that. His name is Fei Hu, a local arms dealer. Quite the master himself, too, so long as a weapon rests in his hands. What? You know that guy? I know his father for ages. Back when he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming back to... Sotenbori. As long as we're all here, why don't I introduce you? I didn't ask for He's any okay. favors. He's right behind him, isn't he? Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of you. 
How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off is long past. It seems like Fei Hu has been aware of your presence from the start. Nothing personal, Majima. He's not gonna beat me with a stick, is he? Probably. Apologies, uh, Kokome-san, but I do not trust this man. He has the air of danger about him. Now don't you go being Hi. stubborn on me too. Delay no longer, and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man's m most certainly pass. Say what? What the hell do I have to take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look in your face when you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. The curiosity of yours is now the keenest tool in your armory. Yeah. Nothing fancy Hi, enough I'm to Maj call inspiration. Oops, sorry. Hi, I'm Majima. I snap next. <laughs> Just a few dumb thoughts ratting around. Yeah, but what if they were enough to match uh, Feihu's skill? They would be less dumb, stay, uh, straight thoughts, and more akin to a full-blown revelation. What do you give that revelation? Life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? Eh, listen. I had a long last day. I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Feihu? If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what will it be? The man is an arms dealer. He can procure more uh, for you most anything you might want. Hmm. Now, I'm good with that beat up old bat over there. A baseball bat? All right, Scar vs. Eye Patch, go. <laughs> it should be quite an entertaining match. Steady now. Begin. Fighting from a doghouse. Switch to the slugger style. Uh, press around the D-pad. Switch to slugger. Try mastering the strong defensive potential the bat offers. When you guard with this weapon, you're less likely to be staggered from the attack. Use the bat to protect yourself. Oops. Oh, I actually kind of... Oh, wow. I really dig this fighting style. Happy swings. Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite an interesting fellow. Huh. Just remember using one back when I was running raids on the competition. Think I've improved since then, though. Surprised me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spur-of-the-moment selection like that would get you far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think of my bat work? You pass with flying colors, of course. You're precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you, you got to. Oh. You got to lower the shoulders and bend the knees. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't really interested in conventional stuff. So much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy a chance to escort you there and explain exactly what I what we do. So that's what that crafting material is about. I'm guessing it's a le let you make uh, strong weapons. Aye. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah. This is my wife, uh, Long Hu. New customer, yes. Uh, many happy returns. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it, then? Hi. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by myself. Bespoke arms, you may call them. Made to order, huh? 
So you aren't an arms trader, you're a smith. Is that what you're saying? Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon and Tiger, you can enlist the host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipe, and parts. Put the agent's skills to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry to, and equip it to, at your fingertips. So you send these agents... Sorry. Ag oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I just can't see him anything other besides Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Come on, Majima, we got a city to burn. <laughs> Wait, well, calling him a samurai would actually make sense in this context. Uh, not, I guess technically since we're in Japan, yes, but he's Chinese, yeah. so. Uh, although, I guess calling Majima samurai would make sense. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, that, sorry. So you're sending these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. That is pretty different. Our goal in all this is to develop a robust network of arms dealers the world over. But some agents' work take them for sit, uh, far from civilization. So basically, you got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that, actually. Indeed, remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Furthermore, customers who c whose contributions pass a certain level are gain a special reward, private arms lessons. So I'm guessing that means we're holding back when we fought out there. Naturally. This was only a test. So you're one slippery eel. Ah, speaking of fish, I just remembered. I ain't ate yet. I'm half starved to death here. You said this place was a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would you? You customer for the side business too? You wait, I fix you a feast. I wonder if this actually heals me, or it just ends the episode, or day, I guess. Majima, there's a favor I would like to ask you. What now? I don't need you not to spread the word of their business, but I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. Why is that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time their shop may draw the ire of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask that you on that only you drop by when you think it perhaps buy something and send them out on a search. That sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm heading into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting that edge of yours dull either. So he's a forest dweller. Basically. <laughs> Alright, actually, I want to see what we can make in here. Huh? Fehu, we run out of eggs again. You were supposed to go out shopping. Oh, oh Jesus so, Christ. Sorry, a weapons customer stopped, in, uh, stopped me to complain, and I guess I got distracted. What? You guys seem busy. Want me to come back later? Yeah. Oh, Majima. How are you? I'm sorry you had to see that. Hello, Majima. Anyway, back to the eggs! Fehu, best price <laughs> is at market next town over. You're relentless! Alright, I'll be back with them soon. Oh, while you're there, can you look for equipment for Majima, too? What? But I've never done agent work! Want Fehu to do what? We told you about agents like treasure hunters. But find equipment and parts, Fehu, go... Find things good for Majima, make lots of money. Does this work really seems like such good money? What do you do exactly? This is what we do, Majima. Alright, well, let's go to the, the Hercules Sporting Goods. This seems like an excellent idea. <laughs> Metal bat, dagger, steel... Okay, so we, we get to pick agents, and then we send them out, and that, there's a bio, and that's what they have a chance of getting. <laughs> Here, take 20,000. 
Search request done. Next time you choose an agent destination to search, oh, and don't forget you can pay a little extra too. Extra funds motivate agents. Get better things and also come back sooner. Little tip to get him to work harder, eh? Makes sense. All right, good luck, Fehu. Thank you. I'll do my best. I'll contact you on your pager when I return so you can pick up what I find. Make sure you lock the door when I'm out. I'll be going now. You dispatched an agent. To see how long the search will take, press the start button to highlight equipment in the pause menu. You cannot dispatch another agent until the first one returns. With enough time passes, you will receive a notification on the pager to return to the Dragon and Tiger. Well, for now, I want to invest in my slugger abilities. And I can't do that because I'm still 100,000 short. Shit, better go find someone to rob then. Won't be hard to do. That big oaf might work. Oh, wait, shit, no. Mm -hmm. Alright, where am I in tandem to everything else? I'm right over here, and I need to go down here to... Oh, that's where the apartment is. All right, if I actually do see the big guy walking around, uh, I was going to probably pick a fight and hopefully beat him. The dog girl. Hey, kiddo. Where's your mom? Are you lost? No, I'm not. No? Then what do you stand around all by yourself then, huh? No reason. What's with this kid? She's doing it right in... Not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scamp. Kinda looks <laughs> like she wanted something to say. Still, she ain't lost. She ought to make it home okay. Just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. Hmm, I wonder. I bet you so can any... You switch back... oh, go ahead. Can you switch back to cure you anytime you want? Uh, I think that's an... after you beat the game. It lets you swap back between them. Okay, okay. I think I know exactly what I need to do here. Get her the lizard. Get the girl the terrifying lizard instead of the very round bird. He also has a little hat on. <laughs> and the roundest bird I've ever seen are kiwis. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Oh, I definitely have it. He's got a little tie as well! We got a Jumbo Bunchan. Alright, might as well see if I can get the pink. Wow, first try. <laughs> a Bunchan Java Sparrow. All right, let's get ourselves a lizard. Now I'm curious. What, if those are actual things that you can get? <laughs> oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, no, nope. Sensing into the general. I don't know. Alright, that should do it. I thought that was Secret Scroll for a second. <laughs> oh, it's tempting. It's just there, it. taunting me. What are you damning, Moon? They don't have plushies. <laughs> of the bird? That's a missed opportunity.
Probably not for sale anywhere, but it, I'm guessing maybe if you go to like a like a place like this in Japan, they probably have them in the claw machines. Or Etsy. Or Etsy. You usually can find anything on Etsy. Yeah, I just ordered something from Etsy today. What'd you get? Up, up, up! I think we got it! A self-defense keychain. Hey, we got it. We got a terrifying lizard. You got him by the foot. Well, how else are you supposed to get a lizard? Uh, by the tail. But the foot is more challenging. I like a challenge. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Give me that living ship. I want it. Don't you already have that thing? It's Kiryu, Kiryu, yeah. Kiryu does, but Majima doesn't. Aishima. Alright, fine. We'll get Secret Squirrel instead. <laughs> Western edition, edition, it looks like. I missed it. Have you guys ever seen Birdman Ace Attorney at Law? Uh, I <laughs> love Birdman. <laughs> Me and my friend, uh, we were at the exchange one day, and apparently he... You know, he bought a uh, he bought a Wii game of Birdman. Yes, I know what it. It's basically an Ace Attorney game. It was so freaking good. That was my ex first like introduction to it. Yeah, yeah, Harvey Birdman's such a good series. I'm I'm sad it's not airing anymore, but it was so good. It's so funny, and I've been actually wanting to uh, track that down because uh, someone me and Resno did a series on it a long time ago, and that got me into wanting to find that game. Hmm, it's my pager. Wow, that was uh, fast. All right. Check it out. A little kid all by her lonesome. She ain't no old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would you? No, fool. Grab the kid. Shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pretty smart. Could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. <sighs> Here we go. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Tch, little fucking brat. You're coming one way or another. Leave me alone. See, what did I tell you? Now go inside and play crane games for ten minutes and look what happens to you. Who the hell are you, her old man? Nobody special, just looking out for a stranger. Stranger, then mind your own business. Don't go getting in any ideas or we'll make sure you regret it. Next time you ought to take... Hey, look who it is. Look who finally showed up. Hi, Tamo. Should I? Should I bring mention to what she can do again with this game? Uh, I'll, I'll open it up for her in case she wants to hop in, and then we'll go pay him a visit. Oh, God. Next time you ought to take advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous <laughs> town full of scumbags. Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum! I'm your muck. Oh no, he's got a knife. Well, guess what? I've got a bat. They look like greasers. They do. Batter up. Hey, batter, 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 batter. Hey, batter, batter, batter. Hey, batter, batter. Swing. Strike one. Wow, this move's kind of broken when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh, I am summoned. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, Dammo. Gotta kick him into the next area code. You're all glowy and shit. Anime. Anime. I'm gonna take a bat. I like it better. Oh! Yeah, that'll leave a divot in your forehead. Oh, God. That'll leave you, uh, Ugh. in crippling medical debt. <laughs> Look, we're sorry. Give me a break. How's it going, Tamo? I have stroking off, so it's going good. Uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I had a bacon cheeseburger with barbecue sauce and onion strings on it. Thanks, sir. Uh... What'd you have, Moon? 
Chicken strips. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. Wow, I, I am older than Majima right now. Anyways, I was saying, why don't you head home? He looks like he's in, like, his mid-30s. He does. Okay. Anime syndrome strikes again. Something wrong? Why do I take a spa day? Jesus Christ. You your mom fighting? No. I'll... Then what's up? At least oh. it's not as bad as JoJo's. True. Also, Where you have like this fifteen, this like fifteen-year-old kid who has the exact same body type as like a thirty, it was like a thirty or four, thirty-year-old Frenchman, a forty-year-old Middle Eastern man, and like a fifty-year-old American, like a uh, British American. <laughs> also, I think that in this game, Kiryu is supposed to be nineteen. But squeeze me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, from what I, I uh, saw in like a video that was about this game, Kiryu is supposed to be canonically nineteen and Yakuza zero. You know what though? It makes sense. Anime logic, you gotta love it. <laughs> Actually, it kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Asians are notorious for like they just stop aging by the time they're twenty. The and then when they see. hit like fifty or sixty, it all comes at them at once. You mean the red squirrel prize in the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad'll buy you one if you ask nice. What? Don't have a dad. Oh. No. Sorry. Aw. It's okay. I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. Alright, I gotta get going. Okay. We got to know the doll girl. Interacting with her. A red chest, not the squirrel doll, huh? Can't have her stand here all day. So if I grab one, maybe give it to her. Alright, time to play more crane games! No, oh, dear. Secret squirrel, secret squirrel. Listen, it's for a little girl, okay? We have to do it. I don't see for, it in here. There it is. It's for a good cause. Play the racing game again. <laughs> I can play the other one. It was like the Space Harrier. Or not Space Harrier, whatever it was. The one that made Rez almost sick? Yes. <laughs> the one you chroma key? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is... Okay, right there. Good to ammo? Yeah, I'm okay. I've had a persistent cough for like two years. It's fine. That does not sound good. Oh. Mm, I get it. I get it. Ugh! I'll let you know when I can afford a doctor. <laughs> America. America. Land of the free to pay your doctor a king's ransom every time you get a cold. Alright, let's go further back this time. Alright, that should be it. That blinding light in the background isn't really helping things. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and that's how they get you. This squirrel, this squirrel must have played Mario Party a lot. Keeps getting free. Ugh. God, don't remind me of that mini game because I hate it. Which version? Mario Party 1 or 2? Yes. God, so mm, cute. I'm gonna say 2 because at least with 1, you didn't even have to go for the characters. You could have just gotten, like, the treasure chest or the money bag. Oh, 2, you just grab all the time and you're good to go. Yeah, they give you way too much time in that mini game. And just had the matching speed of a button god. Simple. Just put on turbo mode. <laughs> and even then, somehow they still carry you to the pipe. I can't get that damn squirrel. It's rigged. Rigged, I tell ya. He's meant to take your money being rigged? No. No. Is it going to the end again? Let's go for the head. 
Uh, uh, uh. Arcade game's being rigged. No. What is going on with those lizards? Listen, it is the ritual. Do not disturb it. I don't want to disturb it. I don't want to be anywhere near it right now. <laughs> but you must embrace it, but not interrupt it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Yep. Uh, think I got it? I think I got it? Uh, don't you dare drop it. Up the base? No. Bad dragon. D -d -d drop the base. <laughs> there we go. Got it. You've collected you got it by the head. Roll. Would have been funny if that was spelled uh, badly on purpose. <laughs> like, the glaturation. That blue guy's just Emperor Pilaf. I'm going for it. Excuse you. That is a Chinese hopping zombie. But it's not. It's not a uh, a, a uh, grasshopper. It's a Jiangshi. Damn it. Or however you pronounce it. Well, From nice Chinese know. annoys me. Maybe <laughs> I will not apologize. Based off of it. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. I mean, Dragon Ball started as a, uh... Journey to the West. As a Journey to the West kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I got hey, it. My... He was too round, I couldn't pick him up by the body. So you pick him up by the hair. I'm guessing I need to pick up the other one by the hair. Oh, yeah, okay. Congratulations. So, uh, I've been playing Vacation Simulator, and to get to different areas in that game, you have to collect memories. Mm -hmm. And my favorite thing is, you don't start off memories. So, like, here, human, here's a memory of when you didn't have memories. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a small those, comfort. One of those red chests, not the squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. You hold it up and take it away. <laughs> nah, that's not Majima style. Fine here. Yeah, he's not the type to like. Here's kids go check out McDonald's, go to McDonald's and order a black coffee and then leave. <laughs> yeah, well, it ain't exactly my thing. So why don't you keep it? It ain't exactly my thing. His entire jacket pocket's full of other plushies. <laughs> really? Thanks, sir. Never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, glad you like it. Now, will you get on home? Yeah, I'm going to tell Mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Mommy, this man with all the... This pirate man came in and beat up some bad guys, and then he gave me a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you good, dude? You good? You <laughs> good? Do you need a minute? <laughs> Look, it's red! You can't tell me a child wouldn't describe what happened like that. <laughs> it's the way you did it, Tamo. Oh my god. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, we visited an old rundown shopping district near uh, Shotenbori. Managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looking uh, from the shoppers. Tight spot, surrounded by men who look like bad news. Success! Mission went reasonably well. Wait, what the fuck is that image? <laughs> <laughs> cool, we got a purse. And some gemstones. Mission went reasonably well. <laughs> you can receive equipment, items, recipes, alright. If the name of the item is not shown in the crafting menu, it means you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make the dispatch make it dispatch agents to various locations to obtain different types of parts to make better weapons. Equipment, oh, yeah, recipe, TVG, parts, I not... What? I sent you something. Oh, no. Not bad. I'm not a professional agent, but next time, we will call one of the agents in our network. I will continue to look for mo more agents as well. I hope to expand our network and get better information, powerful equipment, and acquire more reasonable agent, uh, resourceful agents. Let's make the little girl our agents. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
there have been crime organizations before that have had ch- that have gotten good graces of like orphan children mm-hmm. and had them act as spies. Yep, uh, the thing in the, the newest Assassin's Creed, they do something like that. Yeah, makes Emo, sense, I guess. You yeah. missed the dancing man in his underwear. I just realized that. Sounds like I missed a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you missed these two absolutely losing their shit. So yes. Oh my god! <laughs> it was just fucking going at it. No, my reaction was just uh 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 uh. Uh, It just happened to be in in line with their dance moves. (laughs) Ah, nice. We got Driftwood. Crusted Handcuffs. Flint. Crusted? Oh, Cursed. Oh, Cursed. Crusted. I don't know. Yeah, today... (laughs) To, uh... Further answer your question from earlier, TPG. Today's been a really good day for me. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Take some time to make preparations for more substantial guess. equipment searches. I found a video that I had been looking paint that I've been looking for and forgot nearly everything about. <laughs> Tim, I can tell you about the most disgusting hot dog combo we got at work. You don't have to. You really don't have to. Do. You I don't do. need. Uh... You don't need the scar to people. <laughs> If it's not a so, hot dog with toothpaste on it, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, it's almost as really bad. Almost. So, someone got a, a chili cheese dog with onions and mustard on it, but also mayo. Uh-huh. <laughs> with chili? Uh-uh. Chili, cheese, mustard, and onions, and it got mayo on it as well. You don't taint the chili cheese. <laughs> well, they with did. anything! Well, they did. Gross. You take the hot dog, you put, you slap chili on it, you sprinkle some fucking onion on it, and then some cheese, you melt (laughs) that shit, and then you're good. That's your chili cheese dog. You need nothing else. You do not mess with perfection. (laughs) Oh my god. Don't fuck with perfection. (laughs) Well, they did. I think I've triggered something in Tabo. I think you did. <laughs> Although the chili's low quality, I will accept ketchup. I, I the mustard. Just, There's I an odd tanginess eat. that it adds, but if Hot it's dogs. good chili. Yeah. Um, so, like, fun fact, around here, there's a canned brand of chili called, like, Hormel. And, like, every single, like, fast food place that has chili on their menu uses that same brand. So, if it's good enough for restaurants, it's good enough for my house. Uh, Sometimes people come in and get our coffee, and one lady came in and got, I think, yeah, it was a small coffee with eight creamers to go with it. Mm. If you you ever find me ordering coffee, like, okay. Like, if you ever find... If you ever see someone walk in and order coffee with like twenty or thirty creamers, that's probably me. You want some? Cr- you want some coffee with your creamer? Jesus! No. You want just just pour sugar into a cup? I'll be fine. You can't do that. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we don't even pour the creamers, and we just give you packets. All right, we're, just we're give going me enough to packets to fill an entire cup. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, we can get ourselves. We can go to Inuit Village and get either a shotgun, a hammer, or jacket. Or we can get a shotgun. What? What is this picture? Hmm? A traveling entertainer. <laughs> my <God. laughs> oh my god! Let's let's oh hire god. an ex mafia guy. Sl- slime gun. Oh, it's sl- a slime shotgun. We already have that. It's still a shotgun. You can never have too many shotguns. Oh yeah. All right. Get oh man, him. he's gonna get you some pristine skin. Mm, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> he has a better chance. He's to, gonna run. He had the best uh, like skill set for that, so that's why I sent him out. 
A TPG is he's gonna rub some tam- lotion yeah. anointment on that shit. It's gonna be pristine. Oh no! There, there, is it that one guy that was inside the cabaret? No, 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 the other guy. You know what I'm talking about. He gives you weapons. Ah, yes. Hmm. Oh, he's all the way over there. And you know what's on the way over there? Karaoke! God damn it. <laughs> no, we're not no! going to... We're not going to do karaoke. What the hell? Huh? Well, why not do karaoke? What the hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. Well... Oh, it's a street performer. Here's a well-made statue. What's doing in a place like this, though? Pretty me- amazing detail, too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. Push it into the river. Ah? Uh, huh? <laughs> That's an actual person. Am I hearing voices now? He's not even doing it right. You can see him moving and blinking. Eh, whatever. <laughs> the statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. You don't notice him blinking? Oh, he's, he's he also tic- didn't. Uh, he's tickling. He also him. didn't paint his shoes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What in the hell, man? You're alive? <sighs> hey, now, buddy, that tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. You can look, but keep your hands off the performer. Performer. That's what I am—a street performer. I go by the name the of the guy Tokukichi. <coughs> go ahead, dragon. That's just bringing thoughts of the guy back. <laughs> what am I doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you see. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. But why are you doing this here? Oh, don't you know? This area is the holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. The heavy foot traffic means it's... Uh, got a very steady audience, and the locals here love a good comedy bit, so they have a great eye for quality, and that's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, the bridge does have all its benefits. So, you practicing your act? Yes, that would be a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to do to dream big. I think street performances are... En- or entertainment that shows that anyone can enjoy, from kids who just learned to speak for the, to the elderly for, got, for getting words. I want to make people smile. That's a grand dream. Good on you. Well, I wish you the best, and I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb. Oh, no, it's fine. See ya. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it come true. Maybe I'll check back later and see how he's go- getting on. I feel like out of all the poses, uh, posing as a statue while only on one leg seems like a really dumb thing to do. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, uh, so I found out something... He didn't uh, even paint his shoes. Burning what the? ...earlier today. Blizzard has, bought, by, Blizzard has bought, bought Vicarious Visions. Uh, what did Vicarious do? They did stuff like the Crash and Spyro remakes. Oh, oh. Wait, I thought that was Toys for Bob. Oh, yeah, Toys for Bob the, the Spyro remake, but, like, uh, Vicarious Sessions is the Crash remake. Oh, okay. So, expect and any future... And now expect any cra- uh, Crash uh, stuff to be on the Blizzard thing. Mm-hmm. No, Activision owns Crash. Uh, I'm hurt. Did this guy get the snot kicked out of him? He's in so much pain, he can't even talk. You owe me. What am I going to hand over? Significant. Here, take the toughness. I got two of them. Uh, uh. Chug, chug. Chug, 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 chug. You all right? Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Want to tell me what happened? Why'd you get laid out? It's because I was chasing a dream. Here we go. What's this about a dream? It's my dream to boldly walk across the Iowa Bridge. Oh, right. A grand old dream walking across this bridge. Sure does explain why you got beat to within an inch of your life. Except not really! 
I mean, come on. Dun, dun, dun. It wouldn't take more than a minute or two just to stroll right across this bridge. But it's not that simple. And why is that? It's because of the stanjun I'm wearing. Stop what? Oh no, you don't know what a stanjun is? This is terrible. You know what? You're not with the times at all, so not cool. Stadium is st st short for stadium jumper. It's a jacket worn by athletes at stadiums so they stay warm and limber. Overseas, they call these varsity jackets, but here in Japan, it's stanjun all the way. Neat. But why in the world would wearing a stanjun jacket make it so you can't cross Iwo Bridge? Well, you put on a jacket like this, and you pop the collar, and suddenly everyone thinks you're some kind of big shot. All the punks come charging out looking for blood. Well, that's your fucking fault. <laughs> Maybe if the jacket didn't say, bring on the fights. Yeah. I tried crossing eight times now, but every time goons show up and beat the crap out of me before I can make it. That's certainly a, uh, unique problem. But there's gotta be other dudes wearing jackets like that, right? They aren't all getting mauled by riffraff. Right? I can't explain it, but when I do, I get so much heat. Does my face piss people off, or is it just my destiny? Destiny's an asshole in that case. But all right. Well, he definitely has resting bitch face syndrome. <laughs> uh, at least I get why you're bleeding out on the pavement here. Yeah. So here's a novel idea. Maybe take off the Stanjun? Seems like that's the source of all your woes. But that defeats the purpose! I love the Stanjun! You won't believe take how it much- Take put it back on the cross! T take it- Wear it backwards! Wear, wear it inside out! I want to wear it loud and proud. That, that's my dream. Well, it's a free country, <coughs> but I wager you've got another beating coming down the pipe if you don't, if you go through with it. That's what complicates things. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. My name is Suda. Suda, huh? I'm Majima. Majima, if you don't mind me saying, you look like a man who can wade into battles and walk away without a hair out of place. Well, I got a hair tie, but yeah, I can hold my own. Maja, Majima, I'm sorry if this sounds wimpy, but do you think you could help me make my dream come true? Huh? What do you mean? I know it's probably an imposition, but do you think you could fend off goons while I strut proudly across Iwo Bridge? You're not kidding about being in imposition. I'm sorry, but without... The help of a guy like you, my dream may forever be unfilled. I have a lifetime of regret. Please, Majima. Please help me realize my dream. Find whatever I need to get paid anyways. Oh, Alright, fine, I'll help you. It's a statue guy who keeps beating him up. <laughs> Maybe. I don't expect... I know if I asked, but I didn't expect to meet the person kind enough to get into a fist fight for me. Yeah, story of my life. But you're serious about this. Stanjun draws out goons like flies on rotten fruit. Hi. Oh, yes, totally. Just watch. Don't worry, I've got a shotgun. Oh. You're safe. Wait, what? Yeah, I got a shotgun. Sir. You know, I don't think I'm, I, was, I was being the other guy. Hmm? Uh. Hey, you! You think you're hot shit in that jacket? You're trying to start something? Huh? See? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Can't tell if that's Stanjun or you're or that's drawing all this aggro though. Okay, I'm gonna strut proudly down this bridge, but please keep me safe. Enjoy a stroll, bud. These punks are gonna pay the toll uh to the troll. <coughs> there, give me a second. Alright. And uh, now we just go to my weapons and get my shotgun. And now we get out shotgun. And it was a lizard. That's some strange looking goop on the floor. I know it's a slime shotgun, but still. Oh, man. What is this guy's outfit, I swear? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. A chunky boy, man. Chonk. What the- <laughs> <laughs> He literally-
very sad on me. To grind your face into the pavement. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, shotgun time. All they need to do is just snap their fingers and look as complete. <laughs> <laughs> The exact same fucking thing. <laughs> I do look like oh. it. Dude. Ah, damn it. She got knocked out. <laughs> you're from around here, boy, aren't you? Yeah, looking like you're coming looking for some trouble, huh? I want to cut your jib. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the shotgun did not work out for me this time, so you know what will work out for me? Fish nunchucks. Oh, I still can't use them. Fine. Nope. Fine. We're gonna have a super hot knife. Mm. I'll bring it back. Okay. <laughs> also, is the thousand knife degree challenge back or something? What was that? <coughs> is the thousand degree knife thing back or something? Yes. So okay. more, can you swap the bat for anything? The bat? No, that's just the the fighting style weapon. Okay. Oh no! Hey, I, I, oh god! I set them on fire. Wait a minute. The guy I just read the text. The guy was going, bitch. Uh oh. Okay. There's too many people on this bridge right now. Yeah, you eat him off. Don't worry. Here, I'll break this guy's neck. That works. Oh, home run. Yes! I finally did it! I made it all the way across Iowa Bridge. What? Oh, where are my beloved Stanjin? Good for you. Yes, thank you, Majima. You made my dream come true. I'd like you to have this. It's the best I can do as my thanks. We got the Encounter Finder. I don't think I've ever been this happy. I'll never forget what you did to me, for me today. Cruising around in a jacket, that's, that's a big deal to you. You're an odd dude. I know. I don't think most people would understand how much this means to me, but still, it was my dream. Guess that's true of most dreams. Sorry, I shouldn't call you odd. Now, how is he gonna get back? He didn't think that far ahead. <clears throat> Welcome back. Hey, he still us back. Thank you. I take it back. You're an odd dude. I guess so. I get told that often. Well, after that most satisfying accomplishment, I'm hungry. I'm gonna head home for food. See ya. Good luck on those bridges. Yes, thank you and goodbye. That Just casually walks, on me. walks back around. I guess it ain't so much about what others think of you. If it's something you want to do, you better get to it. So it's pretty weird, but his philosophy is right on. There's a real man. And he just got beaten up again. Hmm? Oh, what's with the hard ass Anjun? You're trying to be funny? Print on fights, huh? Let's get it on then. This book just, just says it all. Yeah. What are you doing? Take it off and go home, man. <laughs> Okay, I've got a cat. <laughs> He's a cat attack. attack. Oh, no. <laughs>
<laughs> you gonna be okay? <laughs> She's in my fucking face. <laughs> Take your rope and move her. Stop! You don't understand. Uh, the cat has claimed Moon as its own. We've lost her. My tit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Pardon? She sucked my boob and it fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that hurt, girl. What are you doing? Cat things. Let's see, now that's Shog Shogi. Tink, come here. What? Oh, now what is this? I keep telling you we're sold out. But, but please, there's gotta be a way. Look, you can wail all you want, but sold out is sold out. I can't magically pull one from under the counter. Please, I'm begging you. Just one. One's all I need. Are you gonna be okay? I think we cast <laughs> Um, Can you not pick your cat up? She, I have her on my lap. She's knocking my headset off. <laughs> she pulled the cord? <laughs> no. <laughs> Headbutt in your face or something? Yes. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might need to take a break while Moon sorts out a pr cat problem. Help me! <laughs> She's drowning in fluff. <laughs> Tink! Tink! <laughs> You're joking me now. <laughs> Moon? Moon? Oh no, 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 we've lost her. Moon! <laughs> the sea of fluff has consumed her. <laughs> Tink! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this dream's oh. a catastrophe. You shut oh. up! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it oh. not a catastrophe? <laughs> oh my god. Moon's having a great time, I see. Yeah, she is, Daisy. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Ow. It, it seems to be catastrophic. Hopefully Shut there's up! No, hopefully there's no cat lateral damage. <laughs> it's an actual game, by the way. <laughs> I know. Well, Did I knew I knew would, Moon would have the perfect night tonight. She's really making the meowst of it. Oh my god, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> you and probably everyone else watching. If you do it, he won't be feline now, is he? <laughs> All right. Tink, I let you in for like five minutes. It's time to go. <laughs> no, I want to snuggle with the moon. If you don't no. stop, she might go catatonic. <laughs> she, she can, she'll be fine. That's not y'all she'll do. Uh, yeah, that's me. She said that. Ah! <laughs> Insert catatonic. Like, no, please. <laughs> let go. Damn, can't. Oh. Better? Yes. You, you feeling feline now? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, like I told Tamo in the past, I'm a very uh, avid supporter of recycling. What? I like I like to recycle, so I recycle dragons joke. I think Moon wants to commit to die currently. Uh, no, I I know she wants to commit it to me though. 
M Moon's uh, <laughs> planning to commit exterminatus on me, so this may be the end of the Yakuza stream as well as this channel in general. Sleep before oh I open God. tonight, TVG. What? Sleep before I open tonight, TVG. What? I I'm saying Moon's gonna get you in your sleep. Oh. Yeah, probably. Probably wake me up in the middle of the night and make sure I'm the she's the last thing I ever see before she just smothers me with a cat. But I'll say she has a cat with her. Moon's probably jotting those are like, okay, say more, come on, I need stuff to work with. We hear a scribbling, what are you doing, Moon? Oh no, I'm just sketching. Moon? I think the cat got her. She's She's gone quiet. What's the matter, Moon? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up with that guy? Your tongue in two minutes. The fact that she has gone quiet unnerves the ever living hell out of me. I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. Wait. Someone just pulled into my driveway. What the hell? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, someone's banged on the door. Oh no! No! Moon! Ah! Oh, ow! Ah! ah! <laughs> Cause they would cheeks would be hurting. I'm smiling too much. <laughs> I was on the phone, by the way. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I expect the hitman to do a TBG. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! No, she wouldn't hire a hitman. She want to make sure she the job was done herself. Again, she wants to be the last thing I ever see. She hired herself. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh scares me, Moon. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ma hey, pal, what's the matter? A grown man balling in public? I couldn't buy the heart necklace. Huh? A heart Wait, no. necklace? She sent the guy from the, from the Odyssey after you. Oh, no. No! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That you one guy that we were all losing it at. <laughs> yeah, heart necklace from Destinies. It's trendy and high demand. It's so popular, it's actually sold out everywhere. Okay, so there's a popular necklace, so you can't buy it. Big deal. Doesn't sound like you got a flood the. You got to flood the Sodom Bori about it. But I have to buy it. If I don't get one soon. Ah. Uh, wow. Wow. Cut that shit out, man. Get a hold of yourself. Wah. Why, do you, wah, wah. Why do you need it right now anyways? Just wait till the next delivery. I uh, promised this girl I was seeing that I would get her a heart necklace for her birthday. If I wait for the next delivery, I'll miss her birthday. I'm breaking my promise. Sure, okay. But this one's on you for making a promise you can't keep. Ain't nothing for it but to come clean... Uh, to your gal with an apology. Like I could do that. What if she gets mad? What if she dumps me? Oh, man. What am I gonna do? Pull out as much hair as you... It, pull out as much hair as you want about it, but the fact remains, it's sold out. Not much can be done, son. Or I suppose you could get yourself a fake. Heh. <laughs> that's true. Wait! A fake? Th that's it! That's the answer! Huh? If I can't get the real thing, I'll get a fake that looks just like it. I need to get a fake heart so necklace and give it to her. Come. But it's fake, man. Ain't you gonna notice? I don't think so. Destiny's heart heart necklace is so popular, it's almost impossible to find in the wild. Only a jeweler could tell the real from a fake. Watch, watch it turn out that his girlfriend's actually a jeweler herself. Oh, mm -hmm. that'd be funny. That's so, <laughs> but still, that means pulling a fast one on your gal. I know that, but I don't want to break her, my promise to her. I don't want to see her sad, and I don't want her to dump me. Mm, well, if you think that's your answer, there it is. But uh, how are you going to get I a think fake? The, I think the pirate man is right on this one. <laughs> Apologize. No, not at all. all right, I, I, but I find a forger who works out. with jewelry, work wouldn't I? Alright, take care, dragon. Hi, guys. Night. <clears throat> if only... If only there was someone who's familiar with cr the criminal underworld, someone who could become acquainted with foragers. 
Oh, sure. Like, you're gonna run into some uh, suitably shady character like that on the street. Wait a second. You're right. Hmm? Actually, you look a little shady. No, scratch that. You're totally shady. Huh? Please, could you use your shady connections to hook me up with a forger? Listen, you're kind of hurting my feelings here. Besides, there ain't no forgers on my so so uh, social circle. Try barking up another tree. Oh, but you look so shady. You look like the sort of person <coughs> who would know all kinds of criminals, not just forgers. <laughs> you're really disappointing me here, pal. And you're really rude, you know that? No, oh, I'm sorry, but I have no one else to turn to. If you find anyone else who could help, could you please tell me? <coughs> I don't want to disappoint my girl, please. Well, I guess your intentions aren't bad, at least. Fine, tell you what. If a miracle happens and I get a lead on a forger, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. That said, it ain't like you're going to run into forgers on the street. Well, if you want shady, go to the shade. The alley ahead is a good place to look for as, as any. Hmm, the shady alley, you say? I think I'll go this way. Nope, no forgers out here. Is that the gambling hall? Yep, casino. Down here. Oh, someone found someone shady. Okay, you good to go? Now talk forever on payphone for free? Uh. Great, thanks. See ya. Happy to do business with you. Bye bye. What's that about? Some kind of deal went down? Probably best not to get involved, though. Huh? Ah, my card go all over. I dumped a bunch of phone cards. Fine, guess I should lend him a hand. Oh, oh, oh no. No touch the merchandise. Huh? I'm doing you a favor picking up your cards. Ain't no call for that attitude, friend. Ah, thank you, but no look too closely. Why not? They're just phone cards, right? Or is there something else different about them? Oh, uh, no, 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 no looking, no look, please. Huh? Wait. What's with these phone cards? They got a strip of tape over where the phone punches ho uh, holes. I'm getting a picture now. They're bogus cards, huh? No, sorry, my hearing not good. What? I said the phone cards are bogus, aren't they? Huh? Japanese very hard to understand. Sorry. Not get what you're saying. Seriously? The phone cards are bogus, huh? Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Nailed it. Oh no. No, 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 no. It's all over. Oh no. Oh no. It's all over for me. No! How about you just calm down? Oh no! I mean, yes! Oh, please, you don't tell anyone. If anyone find out, very bad trouble. Huh? I know, we make deal. I pro forger. Make one fake thing for you, and you don't tell anybody. Good deal for you. Appreciate the offer, but I can't think of any fake idea I want. Hmm, wait. Where was that fellow wanting a fake heart necklace for his gal? I can hook him up with this guy. <coughs> Hey, I might have something for you to do. You got a minute? Of course. What kind of fake do you want? So there you have it. I think it's called Destiny. Can you make a heart necklace for that fella? Piece of easy cake. I take care of it. No problem. Top quality forgery I make for you. Okay. You give young man this, my business card. 
Tell your friend to come to my office. I tell workers so they look after him. My name's Fansan. Nice to meet you. My name's Majima. I'm counting on you then. Okay. But you not forget. No talking about the telephone card anywhere, please. Triad boss prefer dead for forger to famous forger, you know? Is that right? Fortune stuff is a tough gig. Okay, okay, your secret's safe with me. Okay, I'm going to the back to the office now. Well, well, I'll be. I found a forager. I'll give his business card <laughs> to that blubbering fool. He was out in front of that fancy boutique store. He's not going to be there, is he? Now, what am I going to do? Still no closer to a solution, huh? Oh, no. No luck at all. I suppose you can't get any leads on a forger, either. Here, take this business card and go to the address on it. It's an office. Huh? What is this? There's a forger there. Show him the card. Tell him you know me, and he ought to make you a top-quality fake uh, for your heart nest, Gliss. <coughs> I'm not pulling my leg, are you? I knew you were someone special the moment I saw you. I ain't nobody special. Just got lucky. Um, may I ask your name? Majima. Thank you very much, Majima. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm running out of time. I gotta go see him right away. You do that. Just remember the forgers work on the wrong side of the law. You mind your manners, or you might get hurt. Hi. I will. Thank you again. Hmm. Fan the forger seems like the good sport. But that fellow is just a normal guy. Who knows what could go wrong? Maybe I'll check in on him when I get a minute. Alright, back to the place. And the forger's office was here somewhere. Someone please help! <coughs> what was that? Sounds like lover boy's in trouble. Uh, please! Let me go! Oh, shit. <coughs> Can I do you? Tell the real reason why you came here. Wrong answer, finger go bye-bye. Please stop! I'm not lying, I only want a necklace! I was given the card and told to come here. Cannot be true, this place is top secret. Normal necklace buyer cannot find. But I'm telling you the truth! Looks like things went sideways. Hey, he's done nothing wrong, let him go, will ya? What? Majima! Where are you? Ah, you are a partner of this guy. This place is top secret, you know. Secret, you not stay alive. Sorry, you have to die. Hold on, one of you guys told me about this office. No one here sell out. No traitor here. You dishonor us. You die now. Looks like uh, it's time to get paid. I got my bat. He's got a sword. Is that a saber or whatever the fuck kind of sword you call it? Scimitar? <clears throat> mm hmm. Possibly. N nope, not this time. Where's that sword? Nice kick. Here, have this. Here, have a seat! Huh? Holy shit! Ow! Alright, you know what? Have a desk!
think I taunts you. <laughs> How come so strong? If you just give me a chance to explain myself. What's going on here? Boys, what happened? Uh, boss! What happened here? Explain. Boss, these guys... They say someone told them about the office. They just come in here. Huh? These guys. Oh. Boss? No one tells secret office location. We don't tell anyone. Never. These guys lying. Uh... Um... Hey, old guy. Care to explain? Fan, forget to tell the boys here you're coming. Oh, come on. Sorry about that. <coughs> so, then I give business card. Oh. That's what happened. Very sorry, Majima. Yeah. Nothing to forgive. Ah, very good. Everyone's all friends. Happy ending. Good, good, good. Says the guy who shit the bed in the first place. So, we make copies of Destiny Heart Necklace, that all? Uh. Yeah, can you do it? No problem. We copy weapons. Harder things. Necklace is easy. Don't worry, we do a good job. Top quality. Good news, eh? Thank you so much. Alright, we'll make it right away. No, no watching this work, though. You go outside a little, okay? Alright. Come back in, it's just like an actual heart on a string. <laughs> mm. It's the heart of a girl named Destiny. <laughs> See? Destiny heart necklace. It's exactly what you asked for. Okay, it's finished. Excellent quality. What kind of monkey pop bullshit would that be? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this is damn good work. Wow, it's exactly <laughs> like the real thing. I'm sure my girlfriend will be delighted. Okay, here you go. Now, promise to Majima is done. Yep, we're square. Woo, what a huge relief. Thanks to everyone's help, I can fulfill my promise to my girlfriend. I made it just in time for her birthday. Good, get going, then. Hi. Yes, I better get moving. Thank you so much again. Guess I ought to do it, then. Still, that necklace. Even a woman's not gonna know it's a fake. No problem. I'm sure no one can tell the real secret safe forever. Okay, hope you're right. Fan says it's okay, but he blows smoke, too. Guess I ought to see how this plays out. I'll be on my way, too. Thanks. Oh, no. No problem. Thanks to you. Okay. Bye, Majima. She's totally gonna see through it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I thought I had to go to it. Oh, there's our lover boy. Is he really gonna get away passing a fake necklace to his girl? Happy birthday. Here's a present. Uh, here's a present. Like I promised. It's a heart necklace from Destiny. Wow, really? I can't believe it. It's so adorable. It's crazy popular now, though. It must have been hard to get. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it was a real challenge to get. <laughs> I have to admit, I was worried. Stores keep, can't keep it in stock, so I wasn't sure you'd be able to get it. Well, you know, uh, I spent the night standing in line, kind of. You spent a whole night in line? You did that just for me? I, uh, didn't, but, well, yeah, something like that. Really? I'm so happy. I'm tearing up now. Thank you. I love you so much. Uh, that's good. I'm glad to make you happy. Okay, I guess I was wrong. How about that? Looks like he got away with the fake. Huh? Is something wrong? Never mind. Oh, man. That's the face of a moral dilemma. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? I have to tell you what really happened. Whoa, whoa. Don't tell her he's gonna... That necklace... It's actually... It's actually... 
It's a fake. Pardon? Oh it's my god, he fessed up. It's a fake? I'm sorry. Why? Why'd you try to trick me? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. He did it for love. He gave me a <laughs> fake for my birthday. I feel like an idiot for being so happy. Yep, now it's all going to hell in a handbasket. This is call. This calls for the Majima touch. Excuse me, lady. Pardon? Majima. What on earth possessed you to spill the beans, huh? Because when I saw how happy it made her, I couldn't help but feel this horrible guilt. Hey, in for again, in for a kilo. If you're gonna get a guilt complex, you shouldn't have faked it to begin with. I know, I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Okay, lady. Let me clue you in on this, though. That necklace is fake, and your boyfriend's a dingbat. Can't fault you for being upset. But he wanted to see you happy. That part is real. We went through a lot of, to get that fake. The kind of trouble you probably don't want to know about. He en ended up in a forger's secret office with his life and his digits in danger. Yeah, he's an idiot, all right. Sure, trying to slip you a fake... A dumb mistake, but he went through all that just so he could see a smile. That desire, that part of it at least, ain't nothing fake about it. Aww. You really went through all that? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You idiot! How could you be so stupid? Let something happen to you. What am I supposed to do then? Sorry. How's a guy whose missing fingers hold his girlfriend's hand? Uh... Please, no more lies. Just be honest with me. Yes, I I'm really sorry. Next time, when the real thing's in stock, I will go bu we'll go buy one together. I don't want it. Huh? I don't want another one. I have this one. But, that one's just a fake. It it's... it's real enough for me. And it makes it unique. <laughs> Listen to what she's saying. She's telling you the fake... She's telling you the fake that her boyfriend struggled to get sh shines brighter than the real thing. It also seems it lets you get raided by Menzador. How's it going, dude? You just uh, raided at a very tender moment. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's run the countermeasures real quick. Menzador, thank you so much for the raid. I see you were playing Goat Simulator. How's that going for you? <laughs> we're just playing some Yakuza Zero tonight. We j just started Majima's story tonight, and we're just going through some side stories and such. And we're hopefully going to try and finish up this episode before we call it a night. But hope your, sh hope your stream went well, dude. The Wasted Space DLC. I've only played the base of Goat Simulator. I haven't touched the DLCs, and a part of me kind of wants to, just for shits and giggles. Oh, jeez. 
because there's like there's like a space DLC. I think there was one that's like a full-on RPG, and there's the base game. She's a fine lady, you fool. You best be good to her. Yes, yes, I will. Majima, thank you so much for everything you did for me. For us. <laughs> Please, I want you to have this. Got a secret wallet. Wasted Space is a combo of Star Wars and Star Trek. Uh, and I feel like a, a bunch of other sci-fi stuff as well. Because I think I remember like there was like some Portal stuff when I saw the trailer for it a long time ago. From now on, I'll always be honest with my girl. No more faking. Only what I really feel. Yeah, that's for the best. <laughs> yes, thanks so much. Shall we go? Yep. Fake that shines brighter than the real thing, huh? Hmm. Stay happy, you two. I really do like these side stories for the most part because they really are, like, very wholesome and very emotional at times. Yeah, that was cute. Oh, you moved to a new location, I think. Is that? Yeah, that's the street performer guy. Drew himself a good size audience, too. Nice to see. Hmm? Uh-oh. Hmm? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Mm. What's he doing? Making smoke signals? We better get closer to see what's up. Something tells me he, he's got an itch he needs scratched. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yo, Tokukichi. You're pulling a good crowd. Yes, it's been good, at least. So you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I... Uh, I need to use the restroom. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> Mama, why is that man talking to the statue? Shh. He's just a little different. It's rude to stare. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. Sorry, but you're not the one. You're the one talking to a statue. So why are you calling me over you about your uh, problems? There's a pizza place right over there. Why not make a beeline for the for the crapper? <laughs> no way, I can't do it. There's a little kid watching. If he saw the statue suddenly spring to life, it might traumatize him for life. I guess that's true. I don't want to shatter that boy's dreams, but I do need to relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? <laughs> hey man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just sneak off when the little tyke ain't watching? You okay, Moon? I can't get how funny this one is. I'm sorry. <laughs> sneak off when he's not looking. That's it! What? I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask, but can you distract these people? Just long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place. Who, me? Yes, you. Naturally, I uh, compensate you for your troubles. I'm not sure you can... I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. But... Please, if I don't go soon, I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna traumatize the sanitation committee. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect One does you to make not simply traumatize the sanitation committee. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect you to make good on this if I pull it off, though. Of course, thank you. Right, uh, let me get a karaoke machine, start saying 24 hour Cinderella, and I'll get everybody's attention. Okay, how do I get these folks' attention? Guess I can try and raise my voice. So what do we- We intimidate them with insults, wail like a banshee, or shout, Look, a UFO! <laughs> Look, well, a UFO. Well, yeah, seeing as how Menzador uh, us option. with a waste of space, we gotta shout about a UFO. Let's go with the UFO sighting. Not the most creative approach, but... 
Hey, what's that? Up in the sky! Look! It's a UFO! Huh? A UFO? Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> a UFO? There, now's your chance. Tuck and roll! <laughs> what the heck? There ain't no UFO up there. Eh, forget it. This statue's the real deal. <laughs> I like this one. Huh? What? Am I imagining things? Wasn't that statue over this way a bit more? <coughs> well, at least he managed to scoot a little. What do I do next? Hmm. Maybe a little performance would draw their interest. Ask a riddle, do a dance, or sing a song. 24 hour dance. Cinderella! Dance! Too late. Alright, time to debut Damn. my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring my singing to you. Oh my god, he actually is singing 24 hour Cinderella. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was joking about this! Nice. Oh? You gotta be brave to break out and sing at uh, Capella in public. You got pipes, buddy! Oh, I think I know this song. That's a chance. Haul your ass! A capella's not that exciting, though. Back to the statue. <laughs> huh? I you idiot! You're facing the wrong way! Ugh. Oh, man, the statue turned around. <laughs> I wasn't imagining it. The statue is moving! Crap. His cover is blown. Now what? Hey, one eye willy, you're annoying as hell. Hmm? Quit your lame ass saying, what's wrong with you, man? You think you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal, trust me on this one. I ain't saying because I want to. Bullshit. I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you for it. <laughs> wow. I mean, that right. escalated. Alright, fine. I'm sorry, but I gotta snap your neck, buddy. Them's the rules. Freaking critics, man. Everybody's a critic, I swear. Maybe he got a chance to sneak off to the toilet. Probably. Because everybody's watching the fight. Alright. Nope, nope. You get over here, get buddy. Beat you up so hard that all your money flies out of your pocket. Alright, come on. Oh, you want to toss him off the bridge? I want to try to. Oh, you get. Oh, keep okay, fine. I got an umbrella. And now I had an umbrella. The crowd kick his ass. <laughs> Yeah, that guy's been an asshole. And there goes the scorpion. I He's just been here all week. I, I just realized everyone. I just realized this guy's name is Rowdy Critic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please That's let me why go. I'm saying, critic. <laughs> Spine, spineless blowhard. The Ronicles of Critic. Wow, that was spectacular. What the? Wow, man, you rocked it, buddy. That was awesome, mister! You were like one of those heroes on TV! Whoa, I don't know how I did it, but I got everybody's attention on lockdown. Now, escape! Oh, now he hauls ass. There, he made it to the pizza place, his porcelain throne. What? The, the statue, it's gone! Eh? It is gone! How did that happen? Mama, where'd the <laughs> statue go? I... I don't know. I'm not sure that how that works. So weird, but I guess it's a free show out of it, so fine by me. <coughs> I don't know. I'm meeting someone. I have to run! We should be on our way, too. 
Yeah, but <coughs> that was fun. There, guess that ends that. <laughs> ah, my savior. Yo, did you make it to the crapper in time? Yeah, she was so good at distracting everybody. I made it before the the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. It's that's so glad to hear it. Got to hand it to you though, it ain't easy holding people's attention. That's the truth. People you, you think it's easy to draw attention to yourself, but what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you got it. Uh-huh. You street entertainers are something else. That's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes it all worthwhile. It's not much, but please, take this with my thanks. Ooh, nice. By the way, you got a real talent for performing in public yourself, you know. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's attention or interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was the icing on the cake. It was so amazing. I just couldn't look away. It was so inspiring. I almost forgot to sneak off. But that <laughs> probably wasn't a performance. It really was spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. You inspired me to keep working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you keep honing your performance chops, too. Let's both keep bringing smiles to people's faces. Hey, I told you, I'm not an entertainer. Oh, well, there goes the Nod Duck. But you gotta respect that it ain't easy making people laugh or bring them joy. Being an entertainer, it, being an entertainer is as tough as any other business. Wow, that one actually really speaks to me in any other content creator. <laughs> You know, I can't help but think that this entire game is, uh, Yakuza recruitment propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at how cool you could be if you joined the Yakuza. I mean, technically, I don't think Majima is in the Yakuza right now. He, he, I think it was, he was kicked out and he's not a cabaret owner as a punishment. <laughs> Oh, you took that away? I see, I see, but no, that's not the right answer. I don't get it. What's this, a lover spat in public? <sighs> ah, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on this one. Oh, don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? But, what's all the ruckus about? You kids being awful loud in front of this shop. It's bad for business. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. So, spill it. What's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. Some picture you drew on squares has you all worked up? What the hell? It's not a drawing, it's a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle? Yes, it's a puzzle with a square grid in which you write the answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in the designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grid is completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to perform one word or phrase at the end. Sudoku! <laughs> How about that? That's what's hip and happening these days? Oh, God. It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are, but the puzzle Kokun made is too hard. I'm over it. Kokun? Oh, that would be me. I'm Ko I'm Kosu. Or uh, Kosuku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hello, nice to meet you. So you two make puzzles and get the other to solve them? You must really like these things. Uh, yes, that's true, but... Hmm? Hmm. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> over it. I don't want to go to work on with this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but I... Can I give up? No! Absolutely not! Huh? Why? Because... You just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We, sol we can solve it together. 
You're sucking all the fun out of this being so intense, Cocoon. I don't want to do it. Oh no, you have to. Please. It's a proposal, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's de most I definitely a proposal. Said so I don't want to anymore. Sorry to intrude. Have fun solving puzzles and fighting about it or whatever. Just keep it down, will ya? Oh, yes, sorry. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? I'm Majima. Majima, I have a favor to ask. May I have a moment? Say what? I just wanted to get a bite to eat, man! And go to sleep, man! Yep, you, we, were, we were right. Whoa, so when you solve the puzzle, it becomes your proposal to... Suzuku. That's some real creative shit. Shh, Majima. Keep your voice down. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just trying to say, it's real clever. Romantic, too, I guess. Oh, thank you. But I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ouch. That's a tough one. Yes, that's where you come in. Majima, can you help Shizuku solve the puzzle? Huh? Help her solve it? What have I got to do it? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Sh Suzuku with the puzzle so she can get my proposal? Alright, sure, I'll help you. You will? You're my hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes, if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. A proposal is a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch uh I'll pitch a hit for you. Thank you. Let's move it inside. I just wanted something to eat. <laughs> this is a very fancy restaurant though. Coco, you made this crossword puzzle too hard. Can we do something else? Don't be so quick to give up. We saw the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab you they've got. I like that, actually. But there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Majima's here is an expert. He can help you with it. Right, Majima? Uh. Like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. Oh, really? That'd be so helpful. kokun has been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Uh. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. Huh? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Let's get the puzzle started. Let's solve one down. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. One down is a dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes. Another served with a grating called blank potatoes. <coughs> the blank is where the answer goes. Back it up. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made of juices of cooked meat. You know, the brown sauce that's often served with steaks and meat and served in the, uh, when it's served western style? Oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, Shizuku. Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish goes well with gravy. I can't picture it. For the number of squares, it looks like six letters long. Okay, a dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes, often served with gravy. It's called blank potatoes. The blank begins six letters long. It's... Mushed, hashed, or mashed. Of course, mashed. Ain't it mashed? Oh, well, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Majima, you you're fabulous. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Guess that has to be the answer. The only place to serve mushed potatoes is the one that can't spell. Why don't I know that? This is what you're hoping for? Yes, you're doing great. I think it's safe to fill the squares in then. From one square down, mashed. Hi. Okay, let's see. Mashed. I wrote it down. Uh. Alright, next clue. The next clue is... What is the most popular snack food served at movie theaters? Cocoon even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. 
It's popcorn, you dingus. Wow, she is a little dense, don't you think? I ain't been to a... Th this radiates so hard from this past year. I ain't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. I have to agree. But if you shared some of the last time you saw a flick, do you remember what it was? I do remember Kukum buying some stuff at a counter, but... Well, what all was it? They asked him what size he wanted, and then... Oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grids to be filled in this time. Seven letter snack food, the most popular movie theaters. And comes in different sizes. It's gotta be noodles. No. Hot dogs. No. Alcohol. Okay. Is that even an option? No. It's Ain't it popcorn? <laughs> Oh, yes! I'd love to go to a movie theater that serves alcohol. <laughs> Shit. The, the one I usually uh, go to has a bar in it and actually does serve alcohol. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Although I haven't been to that in months. Actually, technically years. <sighs> I would certainly hope that people haven't gone to it in a year. <laughs> yes, popcorn has really taken off at the movie theaters lately. Why don't I remember that? Looks like we got it right. Popcorn. I wrote it down. Uh. Alright, bring on the next clue. <sighs> the next clue is... What is the meaning of the universe? What? What? A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is sometimes called a blank phone. They really, uh, make, what? They really make phones that you can put in bags or in your shoulder now. Man, what a time to be alive. Eight letters long. Phone you carry around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere. Called a blank phone. So, an eight letter word to fill the blank in. Bat pack, uh... Bat pack, high tech, or shoulder. I thought cellular was going to be the one of the choices here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I guess maybe backpack phone. It's same with a carrying strap, so I doubt it would be a shoulder phone. I'm going to go with backpack. Oh, yeah. uh, well, it, it was not. You. Right, Majima? We were wrong. It's a perfect fit for eight letters long. I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah. Wait, but... Fill in those boxes. Crap. Crap. It couldn't have been cellular. No, that's wrong! It is? That's wrong. The clue said a carrying strap, not two. And why would you carry a phone on your back? It's not an army field radio. Oh, I guess not. So you're saying... It's not a backpack? It's a shoulder. You wear these phones over your shoulders, so the of course I've never heard of a phone like that. I looked up shoulder phone and I got no straps. I just saw a weird phone, a phone with like a uh, weird thing on it, so that you can hold it with your shoulder easier. It's called a shoulder phone. So that means just write shoulder in the blank squares, okay? You're way too intense, cocoon. But fine. Shoulder phone, bag phone. Why two names? Majima, we're almost done. The next one's the last clue. Let's do this. Okay, I'll read the last clue. 
The term used to categorize the face of men. A man with a typically plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face, opposed to the opposite is called a sauce face. The hell is that? Teenager slang? Now I'm screwed. I think the two blanks are where the answers go. It must be two words. The, there's room for eight letters in all. Okay, the opposite of... The opposite is sauce face. Must mean that it's got something to do with flavor or condiment, right? Fos sauce face describes a face that's rugged and foreign. So then this would be softer. Term to describe a face of a plain Japanese guy in just two words uh, followed by face. The opposite of sauce face, what would the two words be? Miso, <laughs> Miso soy sauce, or salt. Salt free. Uh, I guess I don't think it would be soy sauce. I want to say maybe salt free. No, wait. It's the opposite of sauce face. So it. No, no, that's. So, hmm. I found the answer. All right, give it to me because I'm I'm drawing a blank here. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. All right. Soy sauce. Yeah, the the sauce part kind of threw me off a bit. Isn't it soy sauce? <laughs> yes, yes, soy sauce is definitely the the less rich and thick, like barbecue sauce, for example. Yes, so it is. Seasoning and sauce, and it has to be soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> Was I right? Yes, it's perfect. Hi. <coughs> I wrote it down. Uh, let's see. That's it for the clues. It's all done. Wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circle letters to form a word. Alright, let's see. It says, let's blank. I guess the blank would be the word you get from the letters circled in the puzzle. So it's five letters. For mash, let's I... <laughs> I'm sure I get another R. From the source sauce, I get Y. Okay, now just write down the letters in the word and read it, the whole thing out loud. Let's marry? Kokun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. Oh, but I've been wanting to say those so words cute. for a long time now, but I can never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one, but I made it too hard. I'm sorry. Kokun. So... What you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku. Do you... Do you have an answer? Not no. until you say it. Huh? Kukun, I want you to look me in the eyes and ask it. Sorry. Shizuku, will you marry me? Yes. R really? You will? Sweet! Yes! How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of putting me through this. You idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd have so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Hmm? Wait, what? Forget it. <laughs> Congrats, Kosaku and Shizuku. She wasn't dead. She was just pulling a galaxy brain move. <laughs> <laughs> galaxy brain proposal. You know, all these, work. like, little side quests, they are definitely getting you ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Damn it! You know, that's actually pretty good timing, then. It's like, you seriously, like, almost every side quest has, like, love in it. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> like that one guy who loved to get to the bathroom before he exploded. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. Exploding isn't fun. It isn't fun, for, like, that kind of explosion isn't fun for anyone that gets involved. Especially the person who has to clean it up. 
Yeah. <laughs> From oh, now sure. on, if I need to convey my sure. feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Cocoon. You're sappier than a tree, Cocoon. But good for you. We'll be going now. Thank you. I never got my crab! Thanks to you, we're going to be happy together, heart. Uh. Yep, no doubt. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you got to say it on your own words. Your own words are what get you through to life's toughest spots. Even when you gotta cross words. <laughs> High five, brain. <laughs> Time to be moving along. <laughs> a smirk at the end. It sounds like something I would come up with. Yes, it does. Okay, oh, I want my seafood platter, damn it. I'm hungry. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh, so oh, you can eat. Oh I'll, dear! I'll take that. Home, oh, home. Oh. <laughs> yep, this is heaven. <laughs> he's like eating like a frick. He's like starving. Well, Good lord! Well, did you see what my health was at? Of course, he'd be starving. All right. Since the weapon shop is right over here, I might as well grab what I can, then send another agent out. I... Searching for the destination, struggling against a fierce blizzard. Far from towns, beyond steep peaks and deadly precipices, was a hidden village. No, oh, jeez. Sudden setback. Interference from the locals. Resounding success. Mission went even better than it hoped. What was your mission, anyway? Uh, to get a metal jacket. Oh. Uh, really? Also, also a lint cloth, a pristine skin, and a straw effigy. <laughs> All right, can we actually make anything now? Still can't make... Okay, an iron pipe. Wonder. Make a thing of lumber. Now craft. Nope. Guess I need, like, a cloth-like thing. Let's see. Dagger, butterfly knife, a uh, super spicy knife, and a stun gun. I can make another spicy knife, at least, but I think I'd be better to just... Uh, repair the one I have. Slime gun, brass knuckles, modified lighter. Uh, we can get a Tomfa. Nunchucks. And then there's guns. This mag this magazine is read by both young and old. It is thick enough to provide some protection w when equipped to your torso. Just strap mm. manga magazines all over me. I, now I had the power of God and anime on my side. Oh, Lord. Comfy souls. Don't need that. Presentative amulet. Black belt. And that's it. Hey, give me a butterfly knife. Oh my god. Get right. selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's it. I'll take 
kept that there. All right, this actually makes it easier to find people who want to challenge me. Protects against fire, defense four. This thing's actually a lot better than the, the metal jacket we got. So I'm just going to keep uh, that cloth on me now. <laughs> All right. One more stop and then we'll continue Majima's stuff because there's a place I need Tamo to, to see. Or I guess in this case, I, there's someone I need Tamo to meet. Oh, first day. Yeah, we might take a small break here real quick. Oh, I have I got something to drink when I went BRB. <laughs> I was like, I need something to drink. Yeah, my, my throat was good and pretty dry as well. Oh, they actually show up on the mini map. That's helpful. Hmm. Oh, the people that want to fight you? Yes. Hold on. I need to deal nice. with this real quick. What the fuck are they wearing? <laughs> Oops. They're fashion disasters. Big time. Then you got the guys oh, no. in the corduroy jackets. No! Yeah, that guy should be dead. Oh. Hey, you know what? Are you trying to murder them? Maybe. Bat. Hey, batter, 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 batter. Nice throw. He's got an arm. Alright, Tamo, it's time for you to meet the best character. Oh, dear. You know who this is? This is, is Bob. That, is that a clown? It, it, it's, a bo it's a clown named Bob. Nice. Oh, there's actually something I missed. Got a new hire outfit and a gold ingot. Silver ingot, dragon tear, a dragon whisker. Uh, we got Darth Maul's lightsaber. <laughs> Did that, and what was the? Okay. Yep, hold on. Apparently you can change your outfit. <laughs> I can, but it's only like uh, when we get back to our base, so I'd have to go all the way back to the cabaret, I believe. Mm. Either that or our apartment, which is where we have to go right now. Right after we help this girl. Do 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 I get a headache just by looking at that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we're done with that, let's go home. Wonder what his place looks like from Kiru's or whatever the fuck his name is. 
Well, it's, a, it's in a back alley stuff, so who knows? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm with Odyssey, Brandini Bells. <笑>あんた。お客様は神様やいうて客に土下座までするらしいやないか。夜の帝王かなんか知らんが、なっさげない話やで。そんなに金が欲しい<笑> Where did those two walk out from? They were just hiding, waiting. うちの店に来た客にならどぎざでも吊るし靴でもなめたるわ。せやけど、客やないなら話は出ず。<laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Is it lightsaber time? It is lightsaber time. I need to get my heat up to level 3 first though. Alright, now it's time. I don't know why it's not let me do the thing right now. What thing? Come on. Come on, hit me. Okay, I guess it doesn't work like that. Uh let's try the super spicy knife. Oh, it's the same thing as the other one. Well, at least it's already cauterized. Oh, it's too bad you can't uh, cut someone in half with the lightsaber. I'm but a simple cabaret manager. <laughs> I'm one hell of a butler. <laughs> I'm the cabaret pirate. Yar. Wait, guys, there's a wall there! Oh, they just ran right into a wall. <laughs> There was no other alleyway, they literally just ran into a wall. Like a bunch of stooges. They were screwed. Now what do we got? Already? Wow, that was fast. He owns a cabaret, and he lives in a dump apartment. <laughs> he lives a very simple life. Living the life of a miser is, uh... I forgot where I was going on this. That's not creepy at all. Not at all. Totally not creepy. <coughs> They're keeping four eyes on him. 
Six eyes. Eight eyes. I, I think what this is supposed to imply is these are members of the Yakuza family Majima was a part of, and they're making sure he does he knows his place, and he doesn't screw up or try to screw them over. Mm. Ah, the city's a prison. Hey, we finally finished the chapter, and in good time, too. <laughs> and also, we got 2 million yen. Nice. So that's like, what, $3? Uh, worth uh, about as much as a high-end Swiss watch. Proof of Resolve. Dude's built like a refrigerator. I'll build your refrigerator, woo-woo. This guy's got a muscle mass that would make Chris Redfield blush. ま、島島さん、行かないでください。どうしてそれを that's gotta be murder on his teeth. Chima looks like a junkie in this stage. <laughs> Oh, at least we now know how he got the eye patch. Poor guy. Oh, 
せやけどここにぶち込まれたやつはみんな殺してくれって泣いて頼むわなんでやろな親父兄弟は教えてください Another shit night's sleep. Gotta get to work. Not much else I can do right now. Alright, I guess I can't change outfits in the apartment. Mm. Alright. It's my pager. Six, five, eight, ten, and fifty one. That's Dragon Tiger and come. Guess I'll swing by if I can. I said something about adding more dispatch destinations. I'll check it out when I got the time. Uh oh. I think I know who's patrolling the streets. Nope, it was just a goon. Alright, where's the nearest phone booth? Right outside work. Okay, we'll just head over there and save. Oh no. Thank you. Might as well do a little bit of warm up before I head to work. Uh, what can I grab? What can I grab? Actually, <laughs> what haven't we checked out as a heat move yet? Let's try <laughs> iron pipe. Well, never mind. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, just a brutal beatdown. Oh, right in the throat. Alright. Oh, great. I just want to save. You liar! That came from a bag! That's not a shoulder phone! Hello? Oh, hi, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. What's that clunky ass bag he's slamming? You wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone? Huh? No? That's not what you're calling about? Uh huh, uh huh, okay, sorry. Bag phone? Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh, all right, I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know who to call. Okay, bye. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? Don't they know how much I, I had a, to beg for this thing? Hey, buddy. Were you, were you just chatting on the phone through that clunky bag of yours? 
pardon? Y yes, exactly, yes! I was talking using this! That's pretty wild. It's some kind of radio, then? Oh, no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. I knew it! A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? Oh, really? You don't know? It's all the rage now, and a fully transportable mobile telephone made possible through the state-of-the-art technology. Her cell phone. <laughs> From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them at all times. You'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> a mobile telephone, eh? Crazy. But what's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? Uh, you're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You could be in touch with your friends and family at all times. I could call my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure. I guess I could see the use in that. I knew you'd see the light. Listen. Uh, wait. It didn't it make you want one? You should head to the store and get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah, yeah right. I'm guessing that's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Right in the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah. It's more expensive expensive than uh, I should even say. Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones with the rest of the pe with the rest of the peasants. Um, but aren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yes, because I wanted to save, sir. Yeah, I was about to make a call. So I see. Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge technology, my bag phone, to place your call. Oh, you sure about that? Mm. Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand just what the bag phone represents. Aren't I generous? The bag phone, huh? Guess this guy is state of the art. Do I want to see what this is all about? <laughs> sure, let's see what the future holds. All right, I know you're excited, but the future is right here, hanging on my shoulder. Here you go. You have to get a taste of tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. Eh? What if I don't want a taste of tomorrow? I ain't hearing anything. Really? Can I see it for a sec? Tomorrow owes me money. Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it when I took that call from my buddy. The battery's dead? Yeah, the thing about the future is that it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Well, how long does it take to recharge? A mere eight hours. That long? Jeez. And you only had one conversation earlier, and that's all it takes to run, down, run it down to empty? That's the price you pay for being on the vanguard of time. <laughs> it always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as a cherry blossom. All right, sounds more like a hassle than it's worth. Well, seeing as how your marvel of technology's gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your offer. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 wait. Let's not be hasty. Now what? You can't just give up your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. You just told me it'll take eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time, kid. I'd be able to tap my message out of Morse code before you, that thing came back. Well, it just so happens that this thing can also use regular batteries to make calls. So, could you go buy me a battery for it? I would, I would think that Don Quixote carries them. Huh? What? Now I gotta run your errands? Don't be upset. <laughs> For the price of a couple batteries, you could be getting in touch with the future. Hmm, I do admit I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man, so I'll wait right here for you. Take your time. By the way, my name is Arizuka. I promise you, you can use my bag phone as long as you come back with the battery. Alright, I'm Majima. I'll be back when I can. I guess if I ever buy Don Quixote, I can pop in and get this kid's battery. It's the future we're talking about. 
Well, right now I want to live in the world of today, and I want to save in this phone booth. Alright. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to call it for tonight. Hmm. Because a wave of sleep just actually hit me like a truck right now. <laughs> we've been going for mm -hmm. we've been going for almost five hours, and it's at the cutoff time. So yeah. Whew. But we finished another chapter, and that's usually what I want to do for these set goals of the Yakuza streams is one chapter, the uh, stream. Uh huh. <sighs> Oh man, those side stories tonight really hit you in the feels. Mm-hmm. And definitely get you ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yep. Uh, what are you getting married for Valentine's Day, TVG? Um, your very own mouse. I said moon. Oh. What are you getting moon for... Valentine's Day. I thought, you, I thought you said, what are you getting me? No. Why um, would you get me anything for Valentine's Day? Because we're friends. <laughs> I'll I only expect that shit from, like, classmates. Well, I can't say what I'm getting Moon for Valentine's Day because she's sitting right here. <laughs> Listen, just because I got her a Nintendo Switch does not mean I need to go around bragging about it. <laughs> or maybe Wait. she's like brag more <laughs> please do you think I'm Majima do you think I just punch people and have money come flying out of them I wish that was the case so that way I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about many things yeah if money were that easy to come by everyone would be doing it you just see street fights happening every hour of the day <laughs> and I'm like see I told you <laughs> Alright, let's see if anyone's on right now and we can send a raid to. Uh, let's see. Also, what's a raid message going to be for tonight? While I tag Pirate Man. Pirate Man? Pirate Man. Mommy, this Pirate Man gay showed up and beat up some bad guys and then he gave me a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that one. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, I know a workaround for this. Uh, let's do... You can't fit the whole thing. I don't think. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Oh my. <laughs> let's see. Let's see who some of the other people are hosting. Then we'll send a raid their way. Let's see. Juker, who had raided him recently. Into it? It's just, it's just there? It's just kind of there in late. Oops. Oh, I can't believe you have rated Juker recently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's someone who... Oh, no, wait, this is a past broadcast. Never mind. Uh, let's see you. Nope. All right. All right, we can, we'll can. we raid uh, Tenmar. Playing some Ikaruga right now. Ikaruga. Yep. E. Isn't that a bullet hell? Yes, it is a bullet hell. E. All right. <laughs> we are going to raid him with hashtag pirate man. this and do this all right that is where we're gonna end it tonight everybody uh maybe a small stream tomorrow because i do actually have uh some new model kits we can build and just relax and chat and such other than that uh next week will hopefully be the true ending to the gears tactics because i really <laughs> do want to move on to other stuff because i need a, a small break from tactics games for a bit um, other than that, Thursday, technically we beat all the games that we could do for January, but I am going to replay Puzzle League on the hardest setting to technically fight the true final boss of the game. 
because that's the requirement for it, I believe, or if it's just hard mode. I think it has to be either, like, hard or super hard. Mm-hmm. And then on Friday, of course, will be more Yakuza... And I don't really have anything else to say, because that's basically how the schedule is going to be. I don't know <laughs> if there's going to be a, any small side streams on the days leading up. I'm probably going to just take a small break, because we technically have had a couple small side streams the past couple of weeks, and I just need a small break from it. But yeah, uh, hope you all had fun tonight. I will see you all possibly tomorrow for some model kit building. Keep an eye out for some slice stuff, because I should have that up sometime tomorrow as well. And also next week you should be able to see more of the stream vods. All right. Good night everybody. Good night.